Wilson. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you running out? Are you running out?
think this one is most. It's a good space for me to have a desk to need this one now. Cool. It's done. I'm shook. Oh yeah, it's nice. <laughs> um, so is there, is there a board for me now? Maybe to spray paint a little bit. Is that a good idea? Go back and forth. Yeah. Oh, is, is that yours? What there? Good morning. How are you doing? No. Good, thank you. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's been out all night. Um, dry. Oh, do you want to do it? And pair used it. And pair used it. Hmm? Used it. <laughs> I think so. I think he. Um... I know. Oh, no, How was his mind? <laughs> oh, uh, what, over there? Oh, no, not over there. Hmm? He, I think he drew over the... No, over. this this pen guy. Ooh. Oh. He thinks I'm going to my friend. Um, that was There's cool. another pen here. Will that do? No, it's, it's just a nice drawing pen. <laughs> um, I'm just, like, putting some stuff together. Oh, this is... That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. oh, Pat, do you have, like, a marker pen? Uh, let me check. check. I'm not entirely sure. Like a short pen. Don't worry, don't worry. I found something. Don't worry, I'll see. Okay, I need to throw this in there. <coughs> cool. Thursday. We want to go there. Of course, like of course. Yeah. They, they would fly me in for free. And everything yeah, I think. I mean, next week we know. Wednesday to Friday. Michigan. Yeah, and yeah, of course. We're not so we're not so busy. Now with, no, no, I no. Understand it's stupid that I'm here one week and then I'm. Off yeah. Two days. Were you coming back, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay. No problems. Okay. That's, that's, that's nice. That's a good opportunity. Uh, yeah. Then I can write what she said. Cool. Thank you so much. That's great. So that's cool because. Good. Amazing. Um, I I'm just putting a list together because we have some things to do around town. Sorry, I call you boys. But, uh, <laughs> um, let me just put this together and then maybe we can have like a little chat in like half an hour or so. Um, I think for now it's pretty calm here, like Sam is kind of putting together the stuff now, so it's difficult for you to sew. Yeah. But actually you could do me a favor. It's good, yeah. yeah. Actually, could you get me a, yeah, could you get me a, um, is that right? 
Mm. Either plastic or glass container could just be a big white cup uh, from downstairs with boiling hot water. Yeah, boiling hot water though. Cool. And maybe get me in, hang on, and get me another glass, glass, glass with cold water in it. Thank you. If you want to try, I'm oh, okay. Thank you. What is it? It's going to be You look nice today. Thank you very much. How was your evening? It's knackered. It was knackered. No. No, he made us steaks and then we fell asleep. <laughs> it could be worse. Um, I'm just, I was just talking to <coughs> Joseph. I'm just putting a little list together. We need to get some stuff uh, done outside of this um, today. One of them being going to one of the machinists that we're doing some, some of the kind of repurposed like one-off pieces wait for production, um, which means you need to go to the studio and collect something that's already packed and contained in one place and then give it to her. Um, but for now, since Sam is quite busy, maybe just hang around and if there's anyone else that needs help, just step in. What time are they actually shooting? Um, it's uh, this mm -hmm. evening, because uh, Nick was talking about the evening light. I see. Um, You're scheduled for a conversation with me. Uh, so then after that, we could do a little it. bit more material. Yeah. Mm, I'm running a little bit. Well, no, I have no more. I feel like he think it'd be good to to go to Hatton well, if you need. We're in uh, Victoria, so they can just go to Chancery Lane. It'll take them about an hour. Yeah, maybe. Is it worth it? I mean, I'm just thinking if Gary says, oh, let's have lots more things on it, then I can't actually do that. So I was thinking more wire yes. or air more. Just wondering if I can do something else, but unless I... You could have some little bit backup, maybe. I mean, it's, this is the size that I have, but ideally it would be more this size, or I'd have a bit more of that size. So, w how would you source this just by the measurement in the shop? Yeah, I can tell them what I need. Mm -hmm. It's not even that expensive. But it's just, uh, yeah. I guess. And they have nothing to do right now, you said, right? Yeah, I need one of them to go for me, but one of them could Where, go. Oh, yeah, okay. One of them could go. Yeah, there's sure. nothing, Sam, there's nothing urgent you need. Uh, no, but then that's actually quite good because it is kind of material. Uh, it would be better someone goes now because they're going to get busy no, later. I'm going so to definitely have use back. it anyway, so it's like it's a good size. Uh, and so it won't go off. Uh, let me then measure out.
Yeah, I've been. I've been I saw your cycle here. Is it Kuss? Yeah, yeah, maybe you have to. I went to the train station to close. Oh, so you know, let's stop now. No, no, no. As a, as a I brought city history. Back. Okay. Mm, not really. Oh, you never heard of your parents say, or something? No, I know. Like, a friend of your parents say, oh, I went to the army and died. No, Did you not, uh, were you not starving when you came home? I never heard of anyone going to I was starving. I had like an empty hole in it. No, it's kind of slightly a mythical place sometimes with people I know to. Uh, but it, is, it has a very, very old tradition. It's actually, uh, yeah, actually I took part in this exhibition once at uh, Museum of London. And it was about this group that they found in the city, which is just down the road. And of course, we saw it's quite close by. So it's actually one of those sort of like medieval deals. It was set, sat there, and then you get all these businesses. But that's. Um, oh, yeah, it's a good business. Yeah, I think it should be Thank clean. Kathy, yeah. be hmm? like not top sitting on the waistband. Which one? Is I think. The hot one? What do you think? Yeah, um, <laughs> on which part? Like the like round, the right? I um, no, <laughs> think it should have some top yeah. stitching Let's have to a look. reference the. Let's have a look. Because it's not lined, I would top stitch, yeah. see where it is on the reference jacket. Yeah, but this is the top, right? I mean, the thing is, the drain goes over. You have this oh, kind of okay, so I would top stitch it on, not on the bottom, but on the, hang on. Just in the ditch, in the ditch. Ditch like here stitch. to keep oh, it up some. because we're not lining oh, no, no, it. I was going to fold it in any way and stitch in the ditch if not. <laughs> but I, I can do it on the edge if you wanted to see it a little bit. For me, it's like we don't much like we don't really have the we'll right thread and stuff. Not but sure. I'm happy to do it if you think. If you don't have the right thread, then no. If you don't have the top stitching thread. And do you think it's like a disaster if you don't have top stitch? I don't think it's a disaster. No. I think it's quite nice that it's clean. Yeah, so you that, always uh, get these cuts uh, with any kind of uh, trade. Obviously, it makes sense because then they're close by, so they can just yeah. drop something off downstairs. But I'm going to Let me check in really the box what we have. And it actually still yeah, really, really functions on the place. I mean, no, I don't just think there was any there. But even the, the. Just having like. Uh, I don't know, it's just nice like like to have some of the top stitching reference, even if it's like that. Shall we do double? That could be good. Yeah, just do an edge double. Because I guess we have put some gold you in there, right? Kind of yes. Cool. Uh, so thing, yeah. yeah, and I mean, then I was thinking, I don't know where you are for time, but I was thinking, then you could literally just fold it up and stitch oh, it and just have it. I have it. So, <laughs> so, so time rich. We want to have and then on. Oh, okay. But we want to have time to spray paint it as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, but you're still gonna have at least like an hour to do the work. Yeah. In between the interviews and stuff. Yeah. Um, okay, great. So let's do the double one then. That's quite yeah. nice. Yeah. I would just just to give it like a bit of structure yeah. for the top of it. No, I think you're right. Do you think that we should do this one as well? Uh, let me have a look. At let's look. Again, I I would just so you, again it gives it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would do the the sleeve and the collar just yeah. to give it that rigidity a bit. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's quite nice that it's quite subtle, like it is on the padding sleeve. But then, Sam, would it be okay then to do like the twin everywhere, like here as well, since we don't have the right thread, that becomes kind of a thing. Do you then. want to just have like twin there and then one at the top? Uh, yeah, could be quite nice. Twin all over. Might be a bit yeah, much. Too much. Yeah. So the twin and a single. Yeah. Twin might be a bit much here as well. I think it's quite nice with the, when you see when you see like. <coughs> did you do? Oh, did you do it on here and then we could be here, because the thread is is so thin. So I thought if we only have one, it becomes a bit too sort of weak. Um, and if we have two, it Does becomes you want a thing. I think here. Eden has a count, so K 
can you can you just let me know what he needs and I'll do that now with your outstanding as well. So there is some other stuff I need to pay you then so we can just do it now. Yeah. If you don't have the top stitching thread, it could be a bit messy to do normal. I'll just try and say the bank account. I have the details, so I'll just transfer. Yeah, but I would let's do it before because there's some other stuff. Yeah. This is like. I think it's the one with the foot width away from the edge that you'll be Okay. Yeah, so then I let's think agree. it might just, and then you could have double hair, then, one hair. And then are we doing one here? We're thinking think maybe not. not because. Yeah. So let's leave that. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> do, do, do. Maybe it's not enough. Oh, no, it's not. Um, sorry, okay. Um, yeah, that would be great. That's all you need. I think so. Now you say that you're being suspicious. <laughs> I mean, I would like some sandpaper, maybe, but it's fine. I can walk around it. What about a burnisher? Should we get a burnisher? Why not? Can you uh, do 70? Yeah. Can you? Well, you can, we, <laughs> can you go any lower? Or that's it. That's oh. what you, I mean, that's what, if that's what you need, then that's what you need. How much are they? Let's just see. Ideally, we just get as much as you want for as little as possible. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, 50 is fine. Um, I can get that one as well. I, hang on one second. I'm not. I'm, I'm, one second, one second. I don't like that it's rated lower than this one, which I actually think I used to have. Let's get this one. Uh, yeah. Straight burn, sure. Uh, yeah, that be perfect. Yeah. Yeah, very good. So what's the final number? Um, 55. 55, you sure? I mean, maybe you give him 60 and then he'll bring the change, just in case. 60, and then I'll give you that. 60, 60, and then the 70. I'll, I'll give you no, 70. Square wire. Yeah. Oh, so we need to wire. Actually, what I'll do is I have a piece. Uh, but I'll just put that. Oh, so it's kind of that thickness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Just so you kind of know what's yeah. coming. Um, and you know 50 centimeters about that big. Um, I think that's all. Okay. So Chancery Lane is the closest tube station. Should be okay, it's just back up really, to be honest. Um, and I would like a little piece now, and I'm just, if Gary comes, I would like to just be able to make more if he says, oh, can we have five more? Because now I'm scrambling through. Skinny, be careful. Cost, no. That is actually casting so good. Uh, there is one that's halfway polished. It's quite nice. It's kind of totally wasteful uh, <laughs> somehow, but it is, because uh, you couldn't use it. It would actually break. No, not break, it would bend out of shape. The thing is, it would, it's useless. It, you don't make them out of silver mm. because it would yeah, be too soft. It's broken, you unlock that room. I think it would bend more than break, yeah, actually. Yeah. Like yeah, brass yeah. is quite, actually brass is more like the, which they make, um, but it's really hard, uh, but it's brittle. Silver is quite soft, but it would really, like, actually, if you drop it, it might even really start kinking. Um, Why did you do that? Um, because it was, it's like a piece that I normally cut up and then rearrange in kind of weird ways. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of a bit part of my practice to kind of almost not spend ages recreating something, but um, rather quoting the direct thing. It's almost like I feel like otherwise I'm, I'm ending up kind of making like a decorative, sort of like a kitschy version of something. Whereas if you just take the thing and straight away just change the material, it's a different statement. Does that make sense? Mm, yeah. I mean, if you, if you did it on Rhino, then it would be kind of another meaning to it somehow again. Like it, that would be a kind of recreation. This is actually like a copy, mm -hmm. but in a way, there's almost an irony also to make yeah, it a material like a, that renders like, it useless. Yeah, it's like a direct message. Yeah. Instead basically. of like making your own key. Yes. Because then it's not related to a real key. 
I mean, I have sort of used real keys as well, but then it also is kind of friendly as a piece of jewellery, because then you can sell it as a piece of silver jewellery. Mm. I had a collection once where I wanted to make something with roses. And, you know, actually, I, I love those things, like those steel rings, uh, but I, that's, that's, I don't need to do that. Um, so in, I ended up, actually, my cast is amazing. I ended up actually picking roses in Islington, and then I went like, sorry, can, you, can we try? <laughs> uh, but in a way, it was kind of like almost like this, sort of just actually just using the object and sort of not putting an intermediate step in there. It kind of was a different, kind of gave it a slight different meaning. It needed to be kind of something that, like I said, there are the people, they've done this already. I, don't, I felt like they do really amazing things with that, but that's not quite what my work's about. So I sort of just wanted to almost boil it down. There's like a beauty to it. To kind of making this really clean statement and letting the material do it, almost. Mm -hmm. Anyway. But um, I guess that's quite similar to what Pear does as well. Kind of just take something quite raw and then play with that. Now you've got me philosophizing. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Eden, I sent you 70 I have asked. <laughs> I sent you 70 squid, and then whatever is in there extra should cover stuff. Okay. okay. And then let me know if there's more outstanding, but it should be, should be enough there. Okay, I will. Although, actually, one thing that you might want to know is that I'm on. Uh, on, the, uh, on the microphone, but never mind, I'll show you quickly. I think you really want to know this. This is a piece I did as a student. I never took it out of my collection. It's a silver sort of pencil, mm -hmm. but you can actually write with it. That's not like a mark, like it's actually got color to it. That material actually does the job. But it was kind of like I used to be a fine artist, and I used to use this in Renaissance drawings, <coughs> like do yeah, actually made silver sort of pencil drawings, so when I studied jewellery, I was like, I, I remember seeing an you know, oil on canvas, silver pencil, and I was like, what is that? Really? So I tried it out in the workshop, and then I never, I never let this piece out of the collection. So it's, it's coming today as well. Okay. Um, apparently, I mean, I've heard it's actually not true. The, uh, you know, the biro, that was invented by NASA, and it cost like millions and millions to invent, because they had to make a pen which could write. Oh, in, like, in zero things? gravity. That's cause, true. Cause actually, you rely yeah. on gravity. That is true. But then they, then they said that when the Soviets went to space, they just took pencils. <laughs> These <stones>. <laughs> <laughs> Which apparently isn't true. <laughs> well, that is actually quite a good point. <laughs> That's yeah, an amazing thing. Like that is like the cheapest pen possible. But it was really expensive to design. It's quite weird, though, actually. It is, uh, when you think about it, actually, because you kind of came back with that joke that you don't know if it's true, but um, that, that it, they went back to the kind of most sort of fundamental technology, because actually the biro, if you think about trying to dissemble and recycle the material in a biro, it's impossible, actually. Well, it's like kind of really complicated construction, so you can't really take it apart. It actually just creates loads of rubbish. Whereas the pencil is pretty much used up and uses yeah. materials that are kind of fine because it's graphite and wood. Mm. So actually, weirdly, the simpler version, the modern understanding, is probably yeah, more refined. Unless you like get back from being in space. He's run out. But also, why do they have to write things in space? What are they going to do? Do they do life drawing? <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, what were they doing in space? Um, but I do, I do like that kind of uh, solution with a ball joint. But yeah, that is a kind of really useless object to try to take apart a biro. See you later. <coughs> in this box, so you'll see this material. But just make sure that you'll, you'll identify this right thing. These would already be put together. Mm -hmm. um, and which sizes? The sizes. Uh, I'm gonna. F I'm gonna find out. But it should be. It should be labeled on the bags as well. Okay. So the only thing you need to do is to... <coughs> mm. And the undies. 
I think for now, just like bring the guys. It's all contained in one place. Okay. And, and then bring all of them. Bring all of them. Which sizes? Yeah, uh, because I have that on file anyway, so I can follow up that with the machinist. Um, so just take the bags, and then you're gonna go to a lady called Irina in Stratford. Mm -hmm. Could you maybe give me the Wi-Fi of the uh, studio? This is the this is the password. And then all is lowercase, so that's a small s. See the connection. And then this is the the, the, the Wi-Fi. Oh, you mean my studio? I don't know. It's, re it's really it's really long. But when you go in, yeah, it's on the door. Ah, okay. On the back of the door. And the uh, the name is not come up. It everything is on the door there. This is the lady. This is the lady that you're going to. So when you need my studio, mm -hmm. give me a shout and I'll send you her contact and her yeah. address as well. Okay. And then I go to Stranford. Yeah. And I meet her there. Me and then you come back it, here. She, in studio she works in her, in her house. The uh, bottom floor of her house is her workshop. Okay. So it's like a residential area. Okay. But, uh, it's close to the tube. Well, it's kind of like 10 minutes walk from the tube station. So then, uh, would you send me the address or should I phone her and she will give me the address? I have the address, so once you're there, just let me know and then I'll tell her, are oh, you ready to go? And then I'll give you the address to okay. her when you're in my studio. Yes. And then you can come back here uh, for, the, for the afternoon and, and the evening shoot and stuff to help out. Okay. No, sorry. So yeah, that's it really. So let me know once you found this, and then we can talk then. Maybe good to see a picture of like what what the bags look like, how how they are labeled and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so all of these and one tank top. In the end. It, it might be like four or five tanks, I think. Okay. And then these, I think we have like seven or something, okay. but they're all in the, all in the same place. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Just like, give me a shout if you have any issues. I'll send you pictures or give you a call. Give me a call, yeah. Um, I might be in a... I have a meeting at 1.30, but yeah, it should be before that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. See you later. Thank you. Time's Gary coming. Uh, so we have a chat with you as well. At 1.30. What time is Gary coming? Or is he coming so then? I said to him if he's here for 1.30. Oh, I see. <coughs> so I guess after that chat, there'll be some room to go into detail. 2.33. Hmm? So I think after that chat, there'll be some room to go into detail and like talk about the. Uh, talk about the. Um, styling. I think after the meeting will be time, like plenty of time to go into the styling more in detail. <clears throat> do, you, do you want this? No. Oh, yeah.
my hands are pro properly swollen from working with Hello. terrible, <laughs> totally out of practice. You need to build those calluses back up. Jesus. I'm still here now. Oh. I kind of feel like I want to have an earring for maybe as a backup, yeah. Mm. I can think like something like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. I mean, I'm making it less painful for him, but something like that. Oh, nice. I kind of want to see that. Have I got a camera? Well, there's no mirror here. No, there isn't. Is That's there? totally illusion. Fashion studio without a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> what about those glasses? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do I need more distortion in my life? Probably <laughs> not. <laughs> Oops. Let's have a look. There's a camera in this thing, isn't there? Microsoft is watching you. What do you think? You like it, Rose? Mm, I do. I think Gary might like it, and I can kind of prep her. Uh, and then if it doesn't work, we just don't do it. But it is nice, actually, Rose. Right? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, me too, actually. It's not even that heavy. It can be kind of chunky, Rose. Right? Kathy, what do you reckon? Mm -hmm. It can be kind of chunky, chunky a bit shorter than that, like that. Is this, is this a different? This, uh, oh, yeah, Let me sorry. see them. That... Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see. Oh, why am I having this thing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just those fibers, oh, actually, oh, like oh. microfibers, plastic crap. But yeah, this one's kind of skinny. And then this one's like chunky. 
It's a little bit chunkier. Yeah. But I think a little bit chunkier is... Oh, tell me. I think I prefer this one. Well, don't say that because I don't have... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to file this down. <laughs> You're going to make me file it down. <laughs> Shit. There's just... Whatever you've done here just has really nice shape. Oh, that's, that I can do. It's just about the material oh, gauge. Oh, OK. It's like very slightly chunk. Yeah, it's very slightly chunky. It's like but it would still, it, you would still do the shaping and stuff. Yeah, with I could it. do that. Oh, okay, yeah. So it kind of, it becomes like a kind of tool, but just gauge wise. I think that's what I liked about it. It looks okay. like a tool. But then gauge wise, what do you think? I think I actually did think the thicker one would be kind of better. Just yeah, I think it, it's, as long as it has the shaping in it, because I think you've got really nice ergonomic like lines yes. in the. That's, yeah, one. that I agree with, but then I think chunky is kind mm. of better, it's a little bit shorter. Yeah. So it doesn't quite like rub on your neck, so it feels like you so might actually, actually wear it. Yeah, you know, yeah, if yeah. If you think about it, even if they wear these exaggerated things, it would be something that's actually not so uncomfortable. Yeah, and you probably wouldn't want it like no. interfering with your neck. No, the, are we exaggerating? Not really, right? That's not really part of the method. Not this one, no. no, not not in this. Yeah, yeah, so it's sort of yeah. shorter and chunkier. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I think so. Okay, enough of that, enough of that face. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get this kind of weird thing over the pandemic when you were teaching online? that you kind of just like, ugh, don't want to see that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> don't want to hear my voice. Yeah, never looked at myself so much as in the camera on Zoom. And then on top of it, none of the students ever switched their camera on, so you actually, it's <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> just, just you, and you know. <laughs> that is actually awful. Actually, in the end, I sort of really try to find ways of encouraging them to, well, I kind of get it, though, to be honest. I know what you're saying. <laughs> no, but I kind of got it, to be honest. And also, I kind of understood it. Like, you know, like, they might just be concerned that they're being recorded or God knows what, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, like, when I, when I talked to them later, it was mainly in, like, one-to-one -one things where I was like, look, it actually helps me understand you. Uh, and I'd say things like, I know you understand me better because you see my face. <laughs> because if you just see my voice, you're like, what might he mean? <laughs> Is he angry? Is he happy? Does he like it? Yeah. You know what, Sam, when you're a teacher, you have to give them the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> <laughs> but I do... Well, it's just, it just slows things down, though, because you're trying it to... It does. It does. It's kind of... But you do have to be kind. It's part of your job description. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think if you weren't in education, you wouldn't meet it. No, I mean, that would be yeah, different. It's, it's not, no. Like it's kind of... But they're learning that. They don't know those things. But they don't know those things. Do you mean, like, I actually remember myself doing things that when I think about it now, I'm like, oh my god, why did I not answer? You mean like kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. when you do really weird things because you didn't really realize? Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know. I mean, yeah, before the Swarovski presentation, we actually did tell them, we were like, listen, guys, you need to switch on your camera because it's kind of rude not <laughs> like doing a presentation. Oh. Yeah, but you know, when, when they're your students, it's like uh, you have to give them the benefit of the doubt. It's, yeah, it is literally your job. How's going? Hmm? Hmm? How's it going? <laughs> <coughs> Just waiting for paint, paint to dry. Ah. <laughs> that integrated pleater on the left side, I think it's so nice. The, which one? This? It's, I don't know, is that the one? That's the, the front, the this, left, this piece. Uh, sorry, the left side. This that one. one is so mm. nice. Yeah, it sits quite nicely, doesn't it? Mm.
that's a slash and spread that's a long this one and a triangle like a really long triangle looks like slash and spread oh yeah yeah that's just to open oh. up because this mm. measurement needs to fit into the shoulder mm -hmm. um, but yeah also the way we put we can put the pleats in for the mm. drape One, what's that? You heard you've been in a car accident. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's a bad, it's the call. Um, well, I don't know. Oh, it's Manchester then. No, if it's Birmingham, I wonder if it's Cups or something. But he can't have been there. I mean, do you want to go out and take it? Maybe just take it. Go mm -hmm. No, it's nothing. Why am I doing this now? Um, so, yeah, that cafe, no, I, I, I asked Kathy, she thought so. Just put you in the picture. Maybe even um, sort of. I think we should prepare something like that. Hmm? Yeah, I'm just thinking about the uh, sashes and which which side. Well, yeah. what if I mean Gary can switch that um, shorter and slightly chunkier wire, but a kind of tall shape. And then if we don't use it, then whatever. But I think I think I like the size of the ring. I think that's the, the ring's kind of right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Actually, maybe I'll make it with a wire that Joseph's going to get. To. Um, but I just kind of thought, because in the worst case, I mean, it's just like a, another thing that would even hang up on it. But um, I feel like it would be nice to do something on the ear. Mm, I agree. I checked out his ears. I even have construction for if it really doesn't work. He doesn't have any. He does. He does. I mean, ear lobe, no, and piercing, no, but I don't want that anyway. I want no. One of those ones that are kind of grab That's nice, ear. yeah, just like. More in, in that type of vibe, isn't it? Yeah, basically. I and mean, we did talk about it a bit. I even drew it out, so I think it's kind of. Mm. I feel like the. What about thing this? He's asking me to do that. What about it's this? It's nice highlight on his head as well. You're not feeling the. It's over there. You're not feeling this one, which feels more like a kind of clip. Or oh, actually, it's, a, it's no, his it's ears that I can I see. It's a flesh tunnel, but. We talked about this already. I drew it. Showed you. <laughs> it's a shopping list. No, no, no it's not a shopping list. list. This is not a list. Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like the visual, you know. Yeah, I I'm the like these. these <laughs> no, it's just like actually these are the dishes I need you to do in the kitchen for dinner, for like a dinner. <laughs> because if I say the names, something completely different might come up. So I actually have to draw them. <laughs> visual breakdown. You're a visual, you are a visual, <laughs> visual person. person. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, I don't do them for Instagram. I actually do them because it's shorter than trying to explain. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Different sketchbooks. Yeah. And that's the one I've got the cross, so we've actually kind of gone it's through cool. it already. Yeah, it's cool. I think it's the best one. Yeah. The thing is, I could do even two on it, actually. Maybe I should do like a short one as well. Maybe that's not. Can I see it on you, actually? Just face me. Face me. Actually, two might be. Is that too much? It's not really. I mean, maybe it becomes a bit piratey. Mm -hmm. Can you face me? No, I think. Oh, actually, not so bad. Could be a ring then, but I can I can deal with it with uh, yeah. 
with Gary, um, almost. But uh, I, should, I think I should prep a couple of them. I think if you can make an extra one, so we can have two. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But just you're gonna round the edges off, right? Of course. Yeah. This is not for that. It's for the other. Yeah. One, so this needs to be like that. Uh, yeah. I think it's nice to have that extra one. Just I think case. it's nice to have it as an option as mm. well. Um, and then what are we doing about the braiding? Or should we just wait? I mean, that's not going to take so long to do. But, you know, so how... We have, we have the interns also to help stitch and braid. Yeah, so how do you want the attachment? So it's, it's three of them on, like, on top of each other, then around the... Uh, there's one more, what? So I'm just thinking about the braid. We can we could attach we could attach it to the. The thing is how you attach it is that you half three. one, you half one and stitch the third one in. So you just flip it around. Yeah. And the attachment is nice and clean. And then you can stitch that one in. And then if we do want a knot or whatnot, then we can do it afterwards ourselves. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I mean? means? So yeah. you just stitch one in here mm -hmm. and then pull it through, and then you have three to braid from. Yeah. Okay. Um, then, then I can. That can just be done on the machine. The first one. It's quicker. No. And then the other side. Actually, I haven't completely thought about that. How does it end? I suppose you have three strands at the end, so you might just stitch them into a row and then just flip it over. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, I can deal with that, it's just a hand stitch. Um, we, we have needles, right? Uh, have needle thread. We have thread. Oh, yeah, we have thread. Yeah, then that's fine. Let me just reach out the blue ones. Is mm -hmm. these ones? Yeah. So let me open the brain, just press them nice and flat. But why? I don't even think that's nice. For oh. their new braid, don't you think? Just like no. prepare them. I think actually it is nice that they they, they will always, they will always uh, fall. So you're happy with this edge to, to do that? But it's, the edge is just the end. You don't see the edge. It will be either this or we end up doing something straight and then maybe press Okay, it so this is the actual it. thing we start from. We're yeah. going to leave it like this. Here we have this one. Do the ready ones, continue this one. Something like that. So, okay. So. Um, no, don't worry about it. Um, so we, we, I think we need to just speak to Gary and see what works. But then actually you have got a point in we should probably prep it. Yeah, I can do it. Like. But um, I need to have the attachment things first. And I don't want to really cut the blue one. So let's prep one version in black. But am I ready to attach it? Maybe not. We can wait. Not quite. Sense. No, and the braiding is kind of quick. Mm -hmm. uh, no, let's not even prep it, it makes no sense. I mean, you know, they can do a couple of stitches for me. Mm -hmm. And Gary's here, close to the time. Let me just prep these, I think that's more important. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, other way, because they will take me time. Um, and I need to go through, oh yeah, the other side of where we attach it. I mean, we could just stitch it at the end. It's nice if it goes all the way around, to be honest with you. So, like, you have one here as well. There's not and then you can adjust it and then tie it at the back. Um, is that possible? Hmm? Say that again. Um, I don't is know. that possible? Or like we have one coming from here and then we tie it on the side here. And then we can have like a string as a detail hanging off. Yeah, but what, I'm I know, but what I'm thinking is like, um, I mean, should I maybe... It's like a little insect crawling out of the spider. Uh, yeah. Uh, the sleeve. Um, I could maybe do a D-ring on the side, but I, I think that's kind of... Kathy, mm. I mean, maybe that's nice, actually, because that's totally what they're doing on the garment. Um, no work. Um, should I, for the other side, should, do we want a detail like this? What, to have the... To attach your piece the whole thing, thing, yeah, on that side. Be really nice. Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, you mean just to <laughs> yeah. a D-ring attached yes. to the garment? Yeah. I mean, we can do kind of what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. it's okay, it doesn't take that long. Yeah. Um, I don't have th thick wire for it though, but um, unless I wait for. I mean, it, that's the wire that I have, or I can use this one. Maybe this is good. Let's just see proportions. So we have this, this, and then mm -hmm. is it nice to have it 
Karczonki, uh, it wants to be Chucky. It's perfect, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't have it. So we just have to wait for each Oh, I mean, oh, but this one is for that already, that's perfect. Yeah. No, but I mean, like, it's like, I have the thinner gauge. Yeah, maybe we want Chunky, I think. Chunky. Yeah. 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 I'm going to have this, because... <laughs> just make it extra difficult. Chunky. No, it just means you have some Chunky wait. coming in, don't you? Yeah. Is that an issue? To wait. Is that mm. an issue? Mm. There's no other option. Um, yeah, that's an okay. Um, okay. Well, I can help if you want. Mm -hmm. How? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> that's <laughs> first. <laughs> help or not? <laughs> <laughs> it might be most helpful if you just fuck off. <laughs> Speak like this in front of the children. <laughs> Um, do you think our students are watching this? Uh, maybe the higher of us already. I mean, fair <laughs> enough. I, I prefer that. <laughs> I prefer that. Um, oh, well, I have this thing. Um, I this nice. So that's done. Um, Lost something. Got it. Um, this one. Can I um, try this again? Hi. Hey. hey. Can, you, can you just uh, give me your face? Mm. Oh, yeah. So you're mic'd up, you three are all mic'd up, right? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So she's going to come on in a second, but I wanted to ask you about um, this chat, you know. I feel like I did something bad and you're going to say, listen, guys. Yeah. I know you're trying, I know it's you're over. really trying to stop the swear. Pack yourself and leave. You had some complaints. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all the noise. Yeah. Interview. Mm. So, um, have you spoken to Gary? Mm, he's all good, yeah. Okay, brilliant. So, he'll be coming out. I just want to know. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. So, at the moment, we've got Gary who's on the movie. Um, no. But I'm wondering, I think you and Kathy should also be involved in this conversation. Right? Yeah. So, just confirming, <laughs> Mike, so there'll be six of you. And Louis should be here any moment. Oh, yeah, but I assume Amazing. that was just the additional ones. Yeah. Yeah, I, think yeah, I was just double checking. And then Louis part of the quest questions? Or? No, Louis wasn't going to be. I told him to come earlier so we can test out the audio and stuff. Amazing. Later. Exciting. Um, and I'd like the team in about to plan out so mm -hmm. can yeah, yeah, yeah. But in terms of an like, actual schedule, I mean, it's very up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The 3D scan will do the inside performance 100%, but let's see, let's see what happens from then onwards. But yeah, exciting. Yeah, okay. super nice. Okay, yeah, that sounds all good. Yeah. Thank you. Brilliant. Did you go out last night? Did you? No, we didn't. He wanted to. Well, I, I, was I was so tired. He made us steaks. Well, you, know, <laughs> <made it. laughs> you know when you're just like too tired and you, you have like, you run on that low energy and then I was just like, I just can't. Yeah. Yeah, but I did want to. I think there's some plans to do tonight. Yeah. I guess tonight makes more sense because we're done, but yeah, like yeah. actually, my, my. But I think yeah. I'm thinking yeah. about this safety. needs to be shipped as well. It's not, that's mm -hmm. going to be, when we're done, we're not done. I need to, I need to confirm for your times and stuff. Yeah. Where does it need to be shipped? To my studio. I don't know when you guys want to oh, do that. Maybe, I don't yeah. know how long we can stay here, but we can talk about it later. Okay. Um, one thing, which I, I forgot now. Maybe it was that, yeah. 
Perfect. But okay. may, can't you ask um, Joseph and uh, yeah, Eva but we just need to someone to be on the other side. Exactly. Yeah. Sam, mm -hmm. but let's let me know when you guys oh, want to do that. Sam, are you working all day? But then Sam should just deal with that. Yeah. Do you need Sam on the shoot? But we, let's wait until when it's yeah, happening and we organize it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And things, my things, I can just take, actually. Yeah, let's just wait when they want it, and then we organize it. Do I need? To, I don't need to be at the shoot, actually. Do I? Maybe a little bit at the beginning. That's it. Gary's very capable. Um, I didn't really want to see that. <laughs> well, Kathy definitely wants to see it. <laughs> I, I saw her perk up. She it does. felt like a little yeah. ear. <laughs> yeah. oh, wait, do we, we, we don't have the time to go outside now. They're coming. Do you want to go outside, yeah? Or just keep the Yeah? Yeah. Do we have time? What do you want to do? You're going to get something to eat or drink? Or? Just like a bit of like yeah. a fresh air. Let's do that. Yeah, I just. Just before it says time. Mm -hmm. Let me just save this. Do we have a Do we have a minute? Just I'm just taking Kat no. outside for a bit of fresh air. Yeah, yeah. Never. Just a couple of minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Never. <laughs> Just get, getting a breather for Cathy. Yeah, I needed a wee, but I didn't want to say it. Oh, this like heavy stuff, and but how does that get? Uh, they got an ice cream target. And then who carries that stuff? You guys carried this? Oh. <laughs> how? Well, um, huh? <laughs> Say again. Oh. Oh, are you okay with that? Are you okay? I, I somehow thought somebody was helping. It's like kind of removal stuff. It's like removal stuff. Terrible. It's not too, it's okay with a bunch of people. Yeah. I mean, I do like jewelry partly because it packs up quite neatly. <laughs> Although we have heavy stuff, but, uh, but this is different caliber. Huh? This is like, do you know what, I have a great idea. Let's pretend we're moving house and we're moving it somewhere and then we're moving it all back the next day. Amazing, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh no. Um, at least it's that one. Um, how, what do I do? Nothing. Mop it.
To me, I love moving house. It's like the worst thing in my life moving house, oh, actually. Oh, no, I was good as a kid. Huh? <laughs> Oh, as a kid, I, mean, I don't know. No, I think yeah, I, even as a kid, I don't like things like that. I think no. we spent three months to move into a house once, and we have things in storage, and it was so exciting to open the end. It's like finding all the toys. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I don't like change. You don't like change? No. How it, long have you been in London? Say again. How long have you been in London? Ten years, maybe. Huh? <laughs> oh. No, but I think I never really like change. I remember when my parents had these shit ideas like taking us to see family in Lebanon and something. <laughs> Is it third world almost? <laughs> Parts of it. Uh, country. And I was like, why is the food so disgusting anywhere else? <laughs> Actually, Lebanese food was okay, but like the travel there. <laughs> you know what? They drove with us through Eastern Europe before the wall had come down twice. And I got ill, and yes, yeah, so I don't like any kind of change in circumstance. And I spent my time in childhood moving around, so I'm quite used to change. I feel like after, we always used to be like, get to three years or so. <laughs> so maybe it's genetic, I just, I'm, it's like any, every fiber in my body resists the idea of spatial changes. Yeah. Oh, I looked up Nicole Scherzinger's um, ethnic heritage. Um, and Makeda was right. Makeda was one of my previous assistants. She said, don't you think that when you mix all the races, you always end up with something that looks a bit like could be, they could be from India? Nicole Scherzinger is ancestrally from Hawaii. Ukraine, Poland, that's one side of the family, and then the other side was Filipino. So, say again, does it? No, I don't know, I actually thought it was quite fascinating how that is true, and then, uh, you know, because, you know, there is these kind of, uh, this research about migration routes of the sort of early human populations. And actually, India is actually literally at the center of it because it's from Africa through the Middle East to India, then uh, East Asia, Europe, Oceania, and Australia. It's actually literally at the sort of epicenter of it. Yeah, no, I guess that makes sense. Anyway, sorry, I'm really into the very outskirts. <laughs> so we're at the outskirts, the periphery. <laughs> it is the periphery, actually. See, the thing is, like, I grew up with, uh, my mom was like, uh, she saw Germans as kind of slightly sort of, um, I mean, that's terrible, and I don't agree, but she always kind of thought of them as sort of some, some uh, forest people that Rich. got... Basically, yeah, forest people that got lucky in the last hundred years. That that's actually, that was actually the image she had. She was like, they don't even they don't even know how to get rid of the hair on their body. <laughs> really primitive. <laughs> Used to live in caves until yesterday. <laughs> well, you know, uh, in some ways, I think kind of being exposed to sort of uh, sort of um, irrational. Uh, ideas around that come totally from the opposite side as general culture around you almost showed how both of them were meaningless. So it's kind of it's kind of a bit like you know because my parents thought oh we should know about Christianity so we went to school and learned like I had Catholic Catholic religious studies first and then I had Protestant religious studies later and then my parents are obviously Muslim and then the end result of that was like Oh, so that no, none of them can be right, so now I'm sort of convinced atheist. Uh, <laughs> so kind of learning about both sides of the argument. <laughs> it's quite a good way of showing well, how all of this is just be wrong. <laughs> how both of this is just a low crap. <laughs> so yeah. 
So growing up with kind of Middle Eastern racism kind of showed me how neither of them can be right. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> actually, yeah, my profound study of religion has actually led me to atheism. Well, it's quite interesting. I still find it interesting, but. Uh, Yeah. I guess education is subversion. Education is subversion. Say again. Well, but the thing is, isn't it that we always, like, I mean, I teach, um, they constantly talk to us about critical analysis, isn't that just meaning that you're supposed to actually literally unpick all these things and make sure that you don't end up with some silly ideas? So that, that's always subversive to a degree, questioning. So I thought I'll do. Uh, I thought I'll do one with a ring, maybe. Mm. This one, something like that. That's cute. Yeah. And it's kind of like that. That's very nice. As a, and then if not, then we could put it on there or just sell it in a sample sale someday. Or remake it into something else. <laughs> It's 11.18. And then what time is the Q&A thing now? Hold on. What time is this Q&A business? Q&A, I think it should be like in a minute now. So kind of... Is this your with the X's that you're drinking on? No, that's what the X says. Don't. What's this one? Don't I'm drink <laughs> anything on my <laughs> table. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> this one's acid. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> you should like oh, cover those. You should cover those because otherwise I will grab it and drink it at some point. Uh, <laughs> isn't it obvious that on a table where there's like uh, suspicious-looking powder in a bag? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, isn't it obvious no, that you don't, don't drink anything? You think it may be a bit. <laughs> I'm scared now. This is my what comes to my every day. I'm constantly in fear. What is he going to do now? You need to draw a picture with yeah, a draw glass a picture. on it with a big cross. I don't have time. <laughs> Listen, oh. I haven't drank, drank anything. No, I know. Do also, you? actually, do you remember when you drank that Alprosoy that was like three weeks old so in the fridge? Yeah. You actually were fine. Oh, fine, yeah. yeah. I gusted it down as well. You didn't even notice it tasted funny, did you? No, it went down quickly. Jesus thing. Christ, it smelled by hell. Um, which way around? Um. Oh yeah, I see. No, I think it's right. Um, should I flatten it slightly? Slightly. Is that nice round enough? Um, do I have to warn them when I start hammering? Should I warn you guys when I start hammering? Should I warn you guys when I start hammering? It's really loud. Hmm? Oh yeah. Should I just get it out of my system quickly now? <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. There, there, there. 
<coughs> it's really loud in, the, in here, um, somehow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. <laughs> so these sleeves are done now. Let me see. Once nice. More. How long does it take to dry? <coughs> Not so long. Yeah. That's the other one. It dries really cool. Like some of the way it like, um, disperses out from the spray. Yeah. Bit. wonder if that, once you've done that, Hello. If you then washed it, would it event, okay. I wonder what would happen over time. Yeah. Like, would it stay or would it eventually like, fade? Just become like a discoloration uh, on the denim. Actually, I mean, you, you really have to do it quite a lot so it becomes a cut, like a cold thing, so it's mm. on top now. So maybe we just peel off or like crack off or it's something. It's going nice yeah. over time. Where's Per going to be? Here. I'm here. <laughs> just hold just the here. <laughs> Always behind you. Oh. This was a threat. <laughs> Should I go here or I mean what's good for Ray's camera? Ray? Ray? What's good placement in terms of camera I mean just having a chat with everyone? Mm -hmm. Should I go over here? Is that better for everyone? Do you need to sit down or can I steal your stool for, mm. for a couple of minutes? <laughs> yeah, I was just going to do that. Yeah, I think that's nice. Let's just chat while you guys... Mm. Seeing as I keep interrupting you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How is everyone today? How are we doing? Good. Yeah, yeah good. good. Yeah. So, second and final day, people just joining. And we've got Pyro Gotson and his whole team here working. Hussam doing some beautiful jewellery work. And then we've got Cathy McGee of Digital Fashion Design Studio, Digitoile. So where are we today? Where have we, where have we got to? Basically, for those, don't watch, those watching who might not know, <coughs> um, we're kind of creating a, both a physical garment, but it's also made using digital technologies and also lives kind of both digitally and physically. Yeah. And I think what we've really been exploring is how those two processes and different kind of handcraft and digital craft don't have to live so separately and mm. can intertwine. And I think that's what's been so interesting so far is seeing how both of your collaborative processes intertwine and how that can emerge in kind of a new way of making contemporary fashion. Um, but can we have an update on where are we? What are we working on this morning? Um, so we have the jackets almost kind of coming together. So when we scanned yesterday, we had this biker piece as a base. Uh, so we have the sleeves now together, and then the body's almost done over there by Sam. Uh, Hussam mm -hmm. is working on this biker chain that's going to go across here like a sort of sash wow. as well. And the trousers are here. I'm just waiting for Visionist to, to, to put on him basically. But this is kind of what you saw in, in a raw version yesterday. Mm. Mm. When you were joking on Louis. Yeah. And all this, you'll see the sash that we did in the, in the calico. You'll see that now integrated in this piece, um, hopefully quite soon. <laughs> and the trousers uh, are here as well. So we're just waiting to have Louis over and then fit mm. it on him. And then, fingers crossed, measurements are accurate. If not, then we're going to have to go back and do it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, getting there. Because we were scanning Louis yesterday and that was being fed through to you. Yeah. And then we'll, we, I know that we're going to scan Louis one final time later, but are we gonna, is that going to be like another process that continues throughout today? So I think to, today I'm at the stage where they were using 
um, laser cut pattern pieces of the process that I'm not replicating okay. again um, for people to see. So I'm at a stage where the design is coming together and I'll be able to, once, once the design is finished, I'll be able to export those pattern files and show the, the laser cut file. Yeah. So it's sort of like a, it's happening in tandem, but they're already working on what I will have finished by yeah. today, if that's So we'll all kind of eventually yeah. streamline yeah. and come yeah, together. Exactly. <laughs> um, we had a few more questions from the public. People are really interested in what kind of software you, you guys are using and what technology is. Um, they firstly wanted to know, I don't know if this is a you guys question or Tom A's around, um, they're wondering what software you use for scanning, for scanning Louis in 3D. Uh, the software for the, it's called uh, ScanD, I think. Yeah. But then when Kathy and I done it before, it's like your camera, really, isn't it? Yeah, so we, the ScanD app definitely got um, something clearer, but usually when me and Per do it, because we don't necessarily have access to a studio, we'll just do it outside um, yeah. your studio. Yeah. So the lighting is natural light, which mm. can make quite a glitch mm. as well. In the, and I'll just go around and individually take mm. pictures with my digital camera. Um, and then I use a software called Autodesk Recap to kind of bring mm. them together and create a 3D scan. Mm. Um, sometimes they're really interesting because they'll be quite glitched and sometimes they're kind of not, not workable because mm. it just it depends yeah. on the lighting and how much the person mm. moved. Um, but you can <clears> capture something even yeah, just with your phone or your camera nice. um, quite easily. But yeah, the app was great. That's the first time I've used a scan from that. Um, I love that idea of responding to the glitches directly. Yeah. I don't know if we'd like talked about this yesterday, but this, these jersey pieces are quite a good example of when mm. we kind of embraces the glitch, when we embrace the glitch yeah. um, and, and make it sort of into a design feature. Uh, so this was kind of the first pieces we we really started to explore that, mm. and then in the spring summer twenty two, it's kind of really gone wild. Like it's kind of like that painting, I guess, with mm. the jersey, <laughs> but in jersey. Uh, so that's something we are like really into. The yeah. idea of the glitch. Mm. I guess Kathy and I Who's would like to touch on how. Is that phone? Uh, <laughs> 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 Alright. Uh, Kathy and I were talking a little bit about how. So I'm actually recreating these uh, pieces in like this one, for example, um, so referencing a, a carabiner shape, but actually I'm making them by hand and actually sort of like a hand-worked wire has a kind of quality that you mm. kind of never quite get as a mm. slightly, I don't know, it's a kind of glitch, I guess, a very yeah. slight one, but it actually elevates it. We we're kind of talking about how the technology sometimes when something's too perfect, it's almost not quite right, and then embracing the glitch. Yeah. It's kind of making that relative, right? Yeah, and it's quite uh, it's quite <coughs> uncertain. You can't control it. So mm. I think that that makes it really interesting from a design perspective because it's just it is an accident. And so mm. it also sometimes it, that that particular thing can't be replicated again, mm. um, which is quite a nice thing, mm. I think. I mean, we talk a lot about sort of the tray, like in something hand, you like the trace of the hand or the touch, and then I guess the glitch could be the trace of the computer. You know, yeah. Or the situation. Mm. Mm. Is it? Because uh, I mean, in a way, like I'm kind of like almost reversing my process by make, remaking something that's normally made by a machine. Yeah, so it hand. goes through and back out again. Back so hand. yeah, basically, in a way, I guess, I guess maybe I'm kind of reacting to that a little mm. bit as well. Mm. Yeah. That's really nice. I think that's a really lovely idea that we're exploring these two days is that working in the digital doesn't mean that you have to lose that feeling of human mm -hmm. touch and human yeah. interaction and how you can bring that back into the physical world and interact with it in those different ways. Yeah, you might just need to rephrase it or something. Yeah. I, guess, I, I guess I'm quite decent at metal work, so I'm not making wobbly lines too much on purpose, yeah. but yeah. it's even when I make it Perfect. It's like what they say about musical instruments, that they sound nicer when it's made by hand. Mm. Because, and then now they do even the machine made ones, they almost write glitches into the mm. program. So the machine made ones have an element of that kind of hand that somehow makes it easier to digest or whatever it is yeah. that makes it somehow <laughs> more aesthetically pleasing. Mm. So, in a way, we, we, we crave both perfection and imperfection, I guess. Mm. Definitely. I think it'll be really interesting at the end of this to kind of see the final outcomes and see where those, maybe we can talk later about how those glitches have come into the final product. Yeah. Um, one more question before I let you go. 
Um, Amy Ela from YouTube wanted to know whether there were any 3D machines that print with eco-friendly materials. I think I heard about this. I think this is a totally a thing, but I, won't, I wouldn't be the right person to ask. Uh, but I know you guys have these machines here, so maybe there is someone in the team. Yeah, let's I'll ask the team. Yeah, we don't do we don't really do any 3D printing. Yeah. Um, Although just waiting for like 3D weaving technology yeah. to come around because then yeah. <laughs> we can just cut out all of the sewing machines yeah, and yeah, go exactly. straight. See, the thing, the so. thing is to say, I know who to ask to find out and I'm almost certain that there are, but uh, I'd have to... I think there must be. I know there's, yeah, there's definitely been projects um, yeah. with um, like eco yeah. um, plastic, like eco plastic yeah. type stuff that's been 3D printed either by hand pen or, or by machine, but mm. yeah, it's it's not really something mm. that um, I'm so familiar yeah. with. I mean, on that topic, is you mentioned it very briefly yesterday, but for you, is working, is kind of digital and working in that kind of area important to you in terms of not using so much fabric and sustainability? Yeah, definitely. And also just exploring other forms of design process. So I think mm. for me, it's become a lot more about process and digital I was going to move more into that kind of software element and trying to make these kind of things a lot more accessible, creative and experimental to a wider range mm. of people because I think the, the knowledge entry point for a lot of the software can be a bit off-putting for people who are also practicing in traditional methods. It's like a lot to learn. Um, so yeah, I think it's, for me, it's interesting about how to approach it in a lo-fi way that means that everybody mm. kind of starts to incorporate it in some form because it does, it does help reduce a lot of waste in a creative process mm. where you may want to try loads of different things, but actually that's using a lot of raw materials and you can just do it mm. on here before you commit to something. Mm. Amazing. Cool. Well, I'm going to leave you guys to it. Cool. And Thank I'll you. Come back later and see how you do. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, correct, yeah, and the, the, the top bags there. Okay, so we have um, that box. Yeah. We have tank tops. Yeah, amazing. Um, all of them? Should yeah, them? all of them, yeah, not just the bag as, as it is, yeah. Okay, and then here we have... These um, ones. These, but also patterns in there. Yeah, that's all. That's perfect. That's great. Okay, and another bag. Can you open that bag and just show me what's in there? Yes. I think it's the underwear as well. Yes, it's also the underwear. Yeah, so that's gonna go as well. Could you, could you show me if? If uh, there is a sample of the underwear, there should be like a finished sample as well if they are there with the bag. And how can I see the sample? The sample, is, uh, the sample will be like a finished version with uh, all the binding and also the um, elastic around the waist. Okay, um, there's one that hasn't got any and uh, elastic around the waist here, this one, that's only overlocked. It needs to be, it needs to have the elastic in it, it needs to be like a finished pair, the sample. Okay. So um, that's the option. It might not be in the bag, it might be like on the rail. Separate? Yeah, or separate in there. Yeah, maybe it's just, oh, yeah, I think that's the elastic on. No, that also hasn't got elastic around the waist. Okay. Okay, just put, the, put this back in, in, the, in the right bags. Mm. And then... <clears throat> then uh, that's fine. Uh, what's there anything else, else in the box? No? Nothing, nothing the doily. Oh. Patterns and then... 
only February and then only see that in February. Okay, so this would be what you have taken out then. Now this would be everything that needs to go to the semester. So let me, yeah, all of this. Yeah. This one with these two. Yeah. And then all the time cards. Yeah, hey, that was quick. Uh, it's, uh, three good. And the good, good, good. Yes, yeah, so I guess yeah, so that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Once you so let me just uh, confirm and then I'll get back to you with uh, the address and her details. Okay, perfect. Amazing. Thank you. Wow. I think you went good time. Thank you. Well. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <coughs> oh, I can show you. I also thought you might need to help me with that list. <laughs> this, this. Uh, because I haven't got my polishing motor, so we're going into <laughs> really <laughs> traditional <laughs> techniques. Uh, no, the thing is, the polishing motor is really dirty, so I couldn't bring it. Uh, I did think about it. Uh, but I, I just want to. Actually. It's a really hard bit of steel. Um, yeah, and it's polished. Um, so what it does, I just want to have it as a backup. I, I do have one, but actually mine is broken anyway, so it's kind of nice to have. Um, Kind of polishes by copying the surface onto into the other part of the metal. Does that make sense? So um, but it might take too long. I wanted to do a little test run earlier. It might not be worth it. You can also use it to set stones because it's kind of like a brush it. You can use it as a kind of brush to like brush this uh, metal over the stone. Because okay. metal is kind of like a really thick dough. Yeah. Like it kind of behaves like that as well. Okay. Oh, oh, this might end up taking too long. Let's see. Your yes, um, although Pat, Pat paid for it, right? Okay. <coughs> Pat? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, if the dean was, yeah, yeah, uh, if Pat pays for it, he can run it through his books. Yeah. Let me just uh, <coughs> send his address yeah, away. So that, just give it to him. I think there was some oil on this, but okay. Ugh, it might take too long, it might not be worth it. And yeah, I can oh, just get a piece of cliff. Kind of better. Do you want to put? Do you want to look on Eden's e ear so I can see as well, Sam? Mm, is he here? Eden is here. Behind no, oh, Nick's. Eden. Sorry. No. <laughs> sorry, oh, I was yeah, yeah, Louis in my head. It was Louis. Louis. No, I know. No, Louis here doing like wreck. Uh, Where? 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 He might it? be with the sound team. He's already here. Yeah, he's doing like sound wreck for oh. this uh, performance. Oh, it would be quite good. Why didn't he would have come and said hi, actually? Yeah, he's probably like. He's not here. Ugh, that's so annoying, it's kind of better. Damn it. Yeah, so I've just kind of done that one a little bit. I haven't even done it properly. Mm, there you go. And if you look to one of the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of laborious, but my hands really hurt. But yeah, it's kind of quite a lot better, isn't it? Um, okay, we'll see how we do later. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of just repetitive. Actually, loads of jewelry works just really repetitive, basically. Um, you know, you can, if you become a bench person, you can learn how to zen it. Sometimes I do it. Ooh, sleeves are coming it. in. It's a, it's a kind of meditation. Oh, yeah, it's oh, really, yeah, really yeah. repetitive, see, really yeah. nicely. Um, yeah. But, that's, what um, I, that's what I think when I'm If like it's too ugly okay, with the two top stitch, then. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You can literally hate it. Morning. I don't hate it. No, that's what I mean. Actually, actually, it's not Rested quite that. Rested and you kind of almost, almost ready. Because also the materials are so ductile, so sometimes <laughs> it's actually yeah. quite nice. For now. Like, for you know, now, like when you work with something like, I remember the first time I worked with gold, it was like that. I was like, oh, now I get it. Yeah, because it's just works. lovely. It just looks at you, it sparkles, it almost smiles. One but one. yeah, things can take ages. <laughs> I would rather like leave it to kind of try and do it as well. I guess you kind of. 
that's why I like yeah. how it's changing. So. This is fine, we can live without it. Cathy, yes. but you need to get your head the into the machines. Uh, can't if you're up against the, the top stage, it's not that fun. It's just been the so it's a bit. Yeah. 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 Well, the thing is, actually, what I what I do when I I do sometimes like I find it's a kind of luxury these days. Lovely, it looks beautiful. Um, I do sometimes do it, and actually, what I constantly do is like I think about how I could improve it or make it nicer, so it becomes a meditation on the piece. But it's not often that it's worth it that I can afford to do that. What do you change? To be that unproductive. <laughs> it's only if it's like worth a lot, if somebody pays me to do a job like that. That's what I mean, and I sometimes see it as a luxury. I'm like, oh, I'm going to actually be able to take the time to do the whole shebang from scratch and pile it into a really nice shape. But today I'm a bit like, ah. <laughs> So it's one of those things. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's not for everyone. Do you like, you don't like repetitive tasks, do you? Um, <laughs> no. Yeah, I think I just gathered that. Well, because I was doing my other job. Well, one of them. I was doing four of this. They do control work. Oh, yeah, but that's like, yeah, that's kind of like that, actually. Yeah. So I was doing a bit of hand sewing, but they were doing... They do control, so they, they do it to a control standard, but they were doing some production stuff mm -hmm. at the time for Matches, his own brand. They were doing like some slips with lace on it, and then you have to basically, you have to draw on, and they're doing thousands of them, you have to dot on where you would zigzag all the way along the lace, and then you've got to zigzag that, and then you've got, you're zigzagging it together, and you're zigzagging onto the fabric. Mm -hmm. And then you have to put some tool behind it, zigzag that on. And it's just like, I don't know, blow my brain down. I mean, do you do you like any kind of repetitive tasks? No, maybe, maybe there's some stuff out there. I mean, I mean, sometimes I think it's just okay. I'm like, I mean, you don't have to. It's, it can be sometimes a bit like a personality thing, almost. And I think it's kind of healthy to just build your working life around what suits you. Yeah, true. Just repetitive tasks. I kind of like them. I used to do like the Morris session with you in the second year just to calm down. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I think it's a kind of if it's not your thing, don't don't feel like you need to or you need you haven't found your thing yet. It might just be not what's right for you in a way. Yeah, I guess I, I, mean, I don't I think pair is so into that, for I'd example. Like sometimes I get a bit too impatient and too frustrated, and I wish I could like just chill switch out. that on. I mean, just be able to like, relax and do something oh, shit, you and not think too much. Yeah, I don't know, I'll just pick a bit. Um, oh, you mean kind of like find a technique to, in order to be able to yeah, complete just something like that? Just yeah, not to get too like in your own head and just relax. See, then I kind of what I do sometimes with work like this, like also when I'm under pressure, is that I use my mind to kind of reflect on how can I get this done more efficiently. So I kind of no, I almost like use what I'm doing to think about it, but in a way that kind of, maybe it's just kind of trying out a few different images in your head. I quite often with working with material, it's like when you have the right image in your head, the outcome almost react, like the outcome reflects, actually reflects that. Like one of my teachers said that to us, like sometimes you just have to think it and then your hand kind of does it. So you have to think, okay, I'm just gonna make this just the edge a tiny bit round and then it's somehow that image helps you fulfill the task. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, or when you set a stone, you almost need to understand what, the, you know how I said it, it's like a really thick mm. dough, so I almost have to have that image of what am I trying to make the material do, what is it doing, and then I don't mess it up. But if I'm on the wrong frame of mind, then I might break everything, <laughs> which I've also done. <laughs> um. yes, I, I do like um, that's one of the things that keeps me entertained. Like if you're doing, if I'm doing something repetitive, I, re I do really enjoy thinking about like the efficiencies. Like what's yes. the best way to do Oh yeah. It? Okay, but then maybe that's your key actually. But then when it, and then once you worked it out, and then it's still like a long process. You're like, <laughs> then maybe you need to start thinking about how you can get staff to do it for you. <laughs> maybe staff that actually quite likes doing that. Yeah. Because that's, that's what I mean, though. You, don't, shouldn't, you shouldn't have to feel bad yeah. about it. Uh, 
uh, because actually then just create a situation, like, you know, then maybe your job in life is to just create a situation that actually suits you well. Yes. Because it doesn't compare to like, somebody that's certain things actually doesn't mind, but yet, you know what I mean, like, don't, don't, feeling inadequate doesn't really help in my experience. <laughs> How would you polish at your... Polish I mean, the polish is always disgusting, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's a wheel. It just spits it dirt at you. I mean, it's nice because you see it go shiny, but it's like... There is also a washing machine, but it was kind of too heavy, and, and then I'd need like a really noisy motor here mm. to kind of do it with uh, sandpaper. Yeah, so, do you, so just from like its, it's uh, state like that, you just hold it up to the wheel and then... No, you okay, kind of you go through time. different oh, stages. Yeah. I mean, I mean, with things like this, I'm not really patient. I'm really quick, but um, and then I sometimes just suffer through it. But like filing and shaping, that's, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't love every repetitive. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's like a polishing. I mean, there's different finishes. Actually, you end up with different finishes though as well. So sometimes when you actually like couture, they sometimes almost uh, pick things that are really time consuming as a kind of signifier of luxury. Yeah, yeah, actually. yeah. So like, yeah, no, that is, that is really I don't know, is it? It's a bit like, it's a bit like a white shirt. Is the only reason, you know, white collar work, white people wear white shirts or used to wear white shirts is because it showed you wash your oh, clothes yeah. regularly. Yeah, it also shows I'm wearing a colour that I get dirty easily, uh, yeah, so I'm not. I don't need it tomorrow. So yes. I want to wash it today. Just like yes. Yeah, it's like that disgusting long fingernail. Uh, <laughs> you know that one? No. Oh, it's like a kind of thing in the Middle East. I think in Asia also, where no, you, yeah, and it's to say I don't really have to do much work yeah. with my hands, but it's like, but um, I don't know, but it is also kind of nice to sort of say, look, I took this time to make mm. this. Mm. So I guess it has flip sides. I mean, you know, like good design would be choosing it wisely, then not pointlessly. Mm. Actually. Yeah. Like for the sake of it, it's never really good. But sometimes it might just change the object. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess now you speak a language and you see hand stitching or see when you don't see seams on the inside of a garment or anything like that. It's moved from just being from the for the sake of it and now you see it and you see it as like as a mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So it's a new it's a new it changes the way you look at the, the garment. Well, you know, like uh, we were just I mean you were out. Actually I, I was thinking about our conversation about that biro. Um, I would consider it not good design if you kind of pointlessly sort of force through something that's wasteful. Um, but if it's a matter of if it's a matter of maybe changing the meaning of something, and if that's kind of meaningful enough, I think it can be the right thing to make it complicated on purpose. That sounds wrong. Yeah, no, it's not no. quite that, but no, you know, no, no. but like kind of doing it, yeah, like kind of. There, there is a purpose to making it. Can be, yeah. I mean, it's a good question in this context as well, I guess, because, uh, yeah, why, why, why do we like handmade things around? Um, but sometimes the machine made thing will be cold. Actually, the machine made thing will be cold sometimes. Cold meaning it wouldn't As in, any, like, it doesn't have that character. kind of little spark that you need. Yeah, no, I, I think like I, like... I like machine made things, don't get me wrong, but like, for example, sometimes when I choose like techniques, um, when you get like a ring engraved, for example, I actually sometimes on purpose say I want it hand engraved because it has a different feel. Yeah, I think, you know, when, sometimes when I'm making something, I think, Perfection, in like the world we live in now, perfection is so easy. Like, that's that's so it, perfect. yeah. And so mistakes are quite nice because you feel, you feel the maker behind it. You Did you listen to what we were talking about? <laughs> we no. just had an interview earlier. Oh, um, no. Kathy was like, we were talking about perfection and imperfection, actually. <laughs> uh, that's really funny. But I guess, I guess this is what today is maybe a little bit about, in a way. 
Kathy was talking about how she's incorporating glitches into the work. No, sorry, you were saying, I didn't mean to interrupt you, actually. No, I mean, just, yeah, that it's quite nice to feel, I don't know, if you see, if you see, maybe not on the stage, but, like, buttons irregularly placed, mm -hmm. like, buttons on a placket, which are normally regularly mm -hmm. placed, and then, you know, I just did them a little bit irregularly placed, but it felt like, you know, you can kind of feel the person who was mm -hmm. in touch with before you. Yes, yeah, a kind of trace of that person. Yeah. Right? Like a, like a, yeah, just. So it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not a mm. Oh yeah, I'm really worried about these kind of guys. It's all right, it's not very toxic, but a um, <laughs> uh, little bit. But um, you do these, uh, you did, you do these kind of complicated patterns on your denim as well, though, right? So you actually kind of almost forced it to have to have lots of process in it as well, right? What do you mean? Like you almost wanted it to be more complicated and specific yeah, yeah, yeah. and less generic, right? Yeah, I guess it's quite nice like doing it from, especially when you're studying, it's quite nice to treat it as if, obviously I have a lot of appreciation of like history and how mm -hmm. it's constructed, it's quite nice to learn from nothing, and that's something which is already, I take nothing for granted, basically, I'm just like, mm -hmm. doing something, maybe doing it wrong, and then working out why mm -hmm. things are done certain ways. So you're kind of almost making sure that you're giving it your own hand as well? Yeah, I guess so. It's quite nice, like, doing it that way, and you think, oh, I feel like a, a medi a renaissance, Jacket maker. I see, but now. Because one of the, uh, one of my tutors, oh, was it? The tutor at her had, Ike, yeah. was saying that, um, like, tailors didn't know what they were doing when they started tailoring. They were just, like, working out how to make a shape. And that's how they're like, oh, this canvas kind of works, and, mm. oh, this might work. And then slowly through, through the ages, that there's now a technique to it. Yeah. You can kind of apply that. Logic to anything, like. Mm -hmm. How good they brought up the food. Food. <laughs> yeah, it's just like amazing how we've managed to build such a complex plant. Right, so I think we're even sometimes just like going around and kind of teaching plant to find out what's going on. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
wayfinders. Oh, yeah. Without any, mm. it's just like touching the water. They actually still don't know how they do it entirely, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. wave patterns and this, that's like kind of a little bit, yeah, I'm always kind of into it. But it's a kind of evolution, ultimately. That's actually now in science, they often use evolution, as in they let like a program run through different options to find out which one's the most, I mean, it's kind of like the most successful one will sort of go to the next level. What do you mean? It's a kind of mathematical process. It's actually like, it's like the trial and error thing. If you blow that out over enough people and then you add in that there's a feedback loop as in oh, they died because they didn't manage um, which is a kind of terrible one but yeah um, it's a kind of process that will give you a good result at the end and actually they do use that in developing technology now they've kind of written algorithms that kind of try options out until they so it's kind of mathematical actually sorry I'm really nerdy <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the point of like, if someone like, trying stuff to work out closely. I always wonder if someone had to fall off a cliff to work out. <laughs> but don't you think that uh, that maybe maybe evolution's already, well evolution's already eradicated that instinct because all of the ones that fell off the cliff or not <laughs> didn't have children in the end didn't make it. So instinctively we try not to fall off cliffs. <laughs> I, I like, yeah, I, I love evolution. Actually, they, they, I mean, you, do you know Richard Dawkins? No, the name. Uh, he's like a, a zoologist. Anyway, but um, I mean, the, the idea of meme always gets credited to him. Meme? Uh, yeah, you know, like an internet meme. Um, it's a kind of, because he applied this kind of evolution thing mathematically then to culture, and he kind of says that actually all we do is we just use something that's already there and then try a version of it out. So we just build on did one he, idea. Did he coin the term meme? Actually he didn't, but, no, uh, the but the idea of... So it's basically saying like, instead of an animal dying out, it's a kind of, this shape looks nice, and then you build on it and go like, oh, but maybe if we do it like this, it's a little bit nicer. And then there's like a quirk, like a mutation. And then if it's any good, it, it might just make it to the next yeah. stage and somebody else copies it and builds on it. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I'm really not doing this stuff. Anything to do with that? I mean, uh, what time is Gary coming? What, what's the time now? How many hours is that? I'm a bit stressed. One and a half hours, okay. Think of, do you want to try... No. Are you interested in trying yeah. to help with it? Okay, let me think if I can kind of find something that makes sense. Because I actually don't like giving people jobs that don't make sense. <laughs> um, but let me just smoke first. Oh, yeah, it's taking longer than I wanted. it. Do you have my lighter? No. Uh, so, yeah, these liquids are a little bit not so good to touch. Let's uh, make a fishing thing. Oh, yeah, cool. I don't know. This out, lay this out somewhere.
Is that also not Ziz? No, it's me. Are you? Yes. Thank you. That's quite. Uh um. Where's this peasant from? <laughs> oh, yeah. Medieval Europe, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, with a bread. I was quite curious about your heritage. Can I ask? Do you mind? Um, my mum is from Lincolnshire, uh -huh. which is up north. Uh, my dad's. My dad's, my granddad's Chinese. Oh, yeah. Malaysia, and my dad lives in But aren't there like lots of, I was talking to Pear about that yesterday, really. uh, aren't there like lots of Chinese communities all over Southeast Asia, like really old ones even, or is that actually just because sure. of communism? My mother is in uh, Malaysia, there's a lot of Chinese, mm -hmm. for sure. So you've got, I think, more so in, uh, more so in Western Asia, which is the next thing. Whereas in Eastern Asia, my dad's from. Where? Oh yes, I actually know, but I know food from there. Yeah, he's 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 from they're not kind to that kind of thing. Yeah. And so experience. Moved, moved to London and uh -huh. I guess the rest of history. Yeah, they're not that's difficult for France or yeah. when you don't speak French. Yeah, move the move the time between the friends later on. I don't know if it was in the friends back in French. I don't know if you've got talk French. That's such a nightmare. France without French in the, when was that? In the 60s or yeah, something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm from Thank the border so of France. And, yeah, I do speak French. Yeah, they're like, yeah, they're so like, honestly, they're like, oh, it's like a cultural thing. Like, yeah. That's your Americano, is that what you like? Um, my mother is Lebanese. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
Although you can kind of tell uh, in Malaysian food that there's Chinese influence. Yeah, I think that's like Singapore yeah. noodles is not this kind of a Chinese dish, for example, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, so when, uh, when we go, it's always a big feast. Because my dad he comes back every like four years, five years, we only go three or four five years. I mean, do they speak uh, Chinese or Malaysian? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know. But do they speak Chinese uh, or Cantonese or Mandarin or Malaysian? They speak Mandarin. Oh, they speak Mandarin. Okay. Dialect is called So they have like a Malaysian dialect of Mandarin. It's from. Oh yeah, okay, I was so going to say this. Oh, okay. So they brought their local dialect, and then oh yeah, it's quite yeah, nice. So. How many generations have the, has, has your family been in Malaysia then? Oh, just my dad's generation. Oh, it's just one family. Yeah. So my dad, my granddad, moved there with his uncle. Do you speak Mandarin? I wish. No. Do you feel bad about that? Well, no, I blame my dad. He should have spoken to me. In doubt, blame the parents. Yeah. <laughs> he should have spoken to me in Mandarin when I was younger. He did yeah. He used to take me and my brothers to uh, Catholic school once or something. Nice. He did quite a kind man. Cute. Cool. We hated going to Catholic school. And so my little brother pretended to be asleep because my oh, dad had to wake him up. That's terrible. Sorry, you just reminded me of my brothers having to go to Arabic school, but it was too late. I mean, we were like, I was like 14 or something. Mm -hmm. um, That's quite depressing to think about. <laughs> Fine, I'm not good with the music. Yeah, I speak a little, I speak Arabic, but not well. Like the writing we did later when I was like 14. I'm like a sort of year two primary school kid, so I'm like, uh, uh, milk! Just, just <laughs> milk. <laughs> well, it's like sometimes I read the ingredients list on the back of things just to see if I can decipher anything, but I actually decipher it, I literally decipher it. But, uh, you want to put it up? Yeah. Uh, you uh, don't play uh, the parents uh, like that. Uh, <laughs> Um, okay, so what am I actually doing? Hang on, let me just kind of try to understand. So what's earring? Um, I see hammered. That's a big thing. Oh, I man, I should lay them out. Yeah, it's better when it's like uh, this softer yeah. fabric, I think. Just cut that later. Um, Hoxton. Katty? Mm. Um, been there for quite a long time. Better around the neckline, right? Mm. Mm. Works better. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I guess we could just test piece out if you're any if if it's any 
good for you to try help me burnish something. Let's just do it on a test piece. Um, let's just do that facet. So we yeah, have to no, do it facet it. by facet. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. Um, you can't have my peg, I don't have a second one, but I think you can just do it on the table and just kind of rub it. The yeah. thing is to stabilize it. Well. So it might be quite good if you just push it into the table. Are you strong? Yeah, you look strong. Yes, it is. Uh, sorry, I didn't that, that sound. Uh, really this is really important. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get this kind of weird jewelry muscle, and it's actually really shrunk in the pandem pandemic. And then you're just going to uh, stitch around the collar. So yes. Here's some. The color, uh, the silver works maybe even better with this color. Yeah, so make sure that that's like, I don't know if a little press, yeah. just to indicate so that doesn't pop So out. we didn't want to press any, any pleats, but I think here we need yeah. to do that now. So press Maybe that. just because there's quite a lot going on there, just give it a little, just a light press. Yeah, I'll show you when it's off, Sam. It's, it's, yeah. it's the area you tacked, just around there. This is so nice, and we should have it hanging instead. So what do you think, Katy, with the spray paint? Do you, should I just have like a little bit here, like a little bit? And then Sorry, what did you say? So I just wanted to show you with uh, color, like, yeah. and you want to check anything else? I mean, we're kind no, of stitching it together. Well. Actually, uh, Joseph is just working on figuring okay. out, because he didn't bring the polishing motors, obviously, if it's worth shining it up a little bit, that one's yeah. shined up, or leaving it matte. Shiny. Oh, don't say that, so I'm just going <laughs> A little bit, maybe. A little bit, maybe. You should stop giving us the option for the extra yeah, work. No, <laughs> oh, I, was just, I wasn't answering your question. I was just like singing oh, Disney. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, but, guys, can you maybe then tell me this is, it's going to be a bit of work, but we could do a bit. You see what I mean? Wait, so is, is this the shiny? Yeah. Side? yeah. And then this is the matte side. You want a hot body. But this is matte, right? Yeah. yeah. I quite like the matte. Okay. Let me just see what I'm doing. Okay, done. Right. <laughs> no one else? Any? Okay. Okay. <laughs> then let's work with Matt. So then I'll just tell Joseph not to worry. Uh, Eden not to worry. Yeah. Okay, Eden, I think we just got uh, the. Don't worry about it. But you can have a go if you want to try it. No, it's like Let's. Hmm. Stuck. Oh yeah, I guess it just shines it. Yeah. It's tight, yeah. I was going to say with the toilet's uh, no, similar, but yeah. I mean, let me you do can it. Get yeah. this you need to well. work. You know how I said it's like a really thick liquid? I mean, it's it almost be. like you brush it flat, like if you had a dough, yeah, yeah, yeah. the tool will eventually close it, them, but actually. But it's, yeah. it's just like a uh, kind of quite tight material, but we manage. Well, okay, is, maybe just, let's just wait for Gary's a... feedback. If he okay. thinks we, we could try and adopt a bit. Just like mm. Oh, yeah. Gary Armstrong. Very nice. Uh, senior. So this guy here, fashion we're just, just saying to like, really press that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, hope for the minute. Uh, yeah. Back in the day. Cool. Um, okay, so let me just try to figure out what I'm doing. I'll, I'll see if you can help me with something. No, okay. Um, so this. Yeah, if you find a computer to charge uh, pencil. that would be amazing. No, I'm I'm not, I need to make lost my <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to no. look for a cigarette? I need to make a list. Yeah. Sorry, what did you ask? If you know. want to smoke. Smoke? No, mm. I need to. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit <laughs> running just <laughs> out. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, what was this for? I made this. For what? For the ear. For the no, it wasn't for the ear. No, we said to have uh, something hanging from that key ring, from a ring. Could it be that? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Oh, uh, but the pencil had the other one, you know? 
Oh, maybe it was the pencil. Did we take pictures yesterday? Can you maybe show me? Pictures of? Of these things. Yes. The test one. You took a picture on Instagram, even. Oh, yeah, I did. I think it's a pencil. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. It's a pencil and then yeah. one more small tool. Yeah, show me. Yes, pencil. Okay, and then small tool, and then. Ooh. Okay, for the carabino. Uh, and then I said for the earpiece, I need the chunky, <coughs> chunky one, which I started on. And then we said we'll make a. No, I made the small one as well. Oh, I made that already. Just needs a bit more. Something, maybe fine. Let's just give it a swirly line. That's an exclamation mark. Uh, that's an exclamation mark. One, two, three exclamation marks. The rest is kind of done. Okay, not so bad. <coughs> How many hours have I got? You have, <clears throat> yeah. you have uh, an hour to the conversation, and then after the conversation, you have like, let's say then to come. An hour before Gary comes, right? Yeah, and then you have like another three hours after that. So this, Maybe even this, more, to be honest with you. Um, that one needs, that one's not done, that one needs filing. I mean, You'd need a peg to file. I was thinking if Joseph can help me. Uh, Joseph is might be in Stratford now and he's coming back. So what? No, not Joseph. Sorry, why do I keep calling him Eden Joseph? Eden uh, can help me. Maybe not, actually. I love that photo. Oh. It's from that book, isn't it? Oh, the big one? Yeah. I don't know. Skinheads, I think. So nice. Okay, so we have this, this. Let's see if it'll be cool. I need this one still. Mm -hmm. So we did, I did that bring the one. Velcro as well, so we should attach that. that we, um, yeah, ring. we closed everything inside, but yeah. do we, we closed it up. No, there is no lining there. We'll figure it out. The earpiece is kind of quick. 15 minutes. Yes, um, the short thing is. No, that one. Looks terrible, this drawing. I have to change it. Um, that one is uh, flattening and drilling. Actually, yeah, drilling, I can have a little bit of help. <laughs> Am I drilling or not? Apparently. Hmm? thinking out loud. That was kind of a nightmare to drill that though. Yeah, let's do it. And? Good. Anything for you, Sam? Um, for me? Sam, yeah. Yes, in a second. Okay. I just need a little bit of uh, help drilling this thing. <laughs> Should I make it thinner? Oh, no, but the drill is sharp. <clears throat> yeah, so I think he's in the building doing sound check. I'm going to try and grab him. I mean, actually, Every, I think, yeah. Actually, um, 
eating. I have a couple of things that you could do. Because uh, this thing is now kind of done. And let's do it with black. Uh, let's just prep it for Gary to review. There's a black in there. Um, so, I mean, we can just black like, tape it here. But um, I do want, I know, maybe something like this long. Did you like it? Yeah. So you can use this. Um, what I thought would make sense if for it, I was thinking like the spray paint. You need three, right? When I looked at Charles, um, I just need to make sure there's kind of like enough. Maybe it's like just a little bit more like shading so somewhere. If you maybe it's kind of. Might be nice, like. So if you kind of do that, and then the third one, you can and then this stick here, in shall we like? Because it didn't add the zip down here. It, basically, um, don't take too much time. Just mm. 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 Just a sort of test, just so we can show Gary. You now I feel like maybe, maybe just wanted something to attach. We're going to develop well, in the back anyway, but, but try the, to leave me. The a zip, bit of you'd only need to unpick between here and the facing because the zip is just top stitched onto the body, so you. Maybe it's nice to do that. I think it. The nice thing it does is it ruches that it thing does, up because it does, pushes Yeah, because it. I think it needs mm. some. We can, do, we can do this later, but I was just looking at this bag and we were saying it would be quite nice to maybe add that zip, just top stitch it on the bottom. <laughs> then it will sort of ruche the bag a bit more. The, the bag that's attached to the body. Yeah, so it just... It, part of the zip will just top stitch onto that side of the body, so all you'd need to unpick is the, the facing bit and stitch the zip in there, and then it just zips up. Because it's just literally left. like a straight zip there, so it would just keep everything in place. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, if you just, yeah, we can mark where you went. Yeah, yeah. Is, the we'll line just, on, is the line on the pattern? Yeah. The pattern. yeah. We just decided to leave it, like I said, to leave it. But it's but also I not think. closed, it's closed ended now, so that opened. Uh, and also, I used one of the stoppers with the zip section because I lost it on the floor. So then we do, we don't Is do there that. a way to get an open ended yeah. zip? Yeah, there is. Uh, <laughs> do we have a. Um, we should only need the measurement, so I'll tell Joseph to bring one back then. You have the measurement. No, it's not that really important to like, go into the strap measure. Shall we give us head Eden? It depends how much she's got to do. Could you just go, go to like John well. Lewis or something? Like, they have John Lewis is around, yeah. Oxford Circus or yeah. somewhere close. Let's do yeah, John I'll Lewis. Just, I'll just go after this because I don't have anything to do with it Okie doke. Yeah, so I think the, the measurement is quite, it's like 39 centimetres, so anything more than that, or the same that you can shorten. Uh, it's a metal drill. It is actually, but it's principle the same. Um, coming together? Oh, that's the Archimedes one. Yeah. It looks good, though. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't really like the Is this not to your taste, though? No, it just it, the, the, it yeah. started, and then I was like... In my studio, this is more on the road. This is to your taste, though. Oh, yeah. Making fire without the light is sort of thing. It's all the sugar. But it is kind of nice that it still works. OK, hang on, maybe. Efficient, but it's like hardened uh, tool steel, and it is made. As Where is it steel. now? But then um, the steel is like the much harder than the silver. Yes, there is one like that for jewelry as well, but. I mean, the thing is with like jewelry drills is like this. I feel the material better with the. Just because I think I what you did on the. Control. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I should maybe it's fine. I've never tried the Archimedes one. I know the thing, but I feel like I wouldn't have a. I don't know where the all of those images are. Because they do weird things. The drills. They can break. They can get blunt. Um, no, I meant like the actual drill there and the end of it. To kind of pull it and then yeah, it kind of unravel. Yeah, so like, ah. So you've got a cut for this. 
Yeah. I can't imagine what you're trying to tell me. Yeah, like, I think the way, I don't know if you were really controlling it or if you were just trying to get, like, coverage. It will move it down. But yeah. there's just like the way it picked it up when you sprayed across. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't but have to be that. But uh, like, when I was planning, that, yeah, that, that's uh, I was planning to do that. But I think maybe that's it, not so much more, like a little bit. In, yeah. Because uh, yeah. I think like just where it gets that, where you have like the the darkness and then yeah, and here on the pleats as yeah. well, just looked really great. Mm. But yes, mate, is it that is that kind of more a distance mm. rather than something? Yeah. So close up. Yeah. When I was drilling, actually, I'm starting to sweat just thinking about it. And in the end, I kind of started hiding my mistakes. Mm -hmm. So sorry. <laughs> I actually bought a drill and started it, uh, sort of exercising at home. Because I was like, I don't want to be that idiot that messes everything up. But Scott didn't let me drill anything for like two months, I think. Did you do woodworking then? But it's kind of okay if it's like, like we don't need, you don't need to be super photo shot. <laughs> 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 I mean, to be honest, even if you just fold it in before you tuck it, it probably keeps it in position. It's, it's going up. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's up? I'm laughing at Kathy's warm belly. It looks like somebody's <laughs> warped my belly on photo shot. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, no, there is a side. The other side. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, oh, you've got the point. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, I should have said that. Mm -hmm. okay. Oops. You see, that's nice about CNC machines, they give you the exact thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> Well, he has a CNC machine. Oh. Errors. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
What did your brother do though? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh no. And I have to go to Tom and I'm like, can you get my car and take me? So there's like a the parking place on the back of Victoria, which I've had, but I've never found it. So, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How's it all going? Good, yeah, it's very relaxed yeah, here good. so far. Yes, I'm very coming together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's coming together. Mm. Everyone's been really excited and social. Yeah. Really, really well. People are really. Yeah, excited. I'm glad. Oh. Because we were thinking we are going to get trolled, hell, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> throw the house, house down. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too late. It's not too late, it's not too late. Don't tempt them. The seven hours that came out today, like, just yeah. 6,000 views on that like, yeah. you saw, like, look, comment. Oh, yeah. did I say the wrong word? Yeah. Yeah. What are you trying to achieve with the volume on the chest? It's breaking. <laughs> yeah. That was my face. <laughs> what I know, I put that here, so I was like, oh, what? Don't overcomplicate me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. It's a really nice feedback as well. So, uh, yeah. Super nice. Uh, and this is coming together nicely as well. We just want to like, grab. To it. Is Louis in the building doing Louis like so? So I want to try and grab him just to do quick fitting um, in the back. Water yeah. so good. Can Maybe I do that? Fix yeah. it on something stronger, like even the lamp or something. So. Sam, do you want to come with me and uh, do the f trousers on Louis in the back? Yeah. Or we'll tape it. Tape. You can come in in a minute. Yeah. Uh, could do, yeah. Oh, I'll be, I'll be not sure. Quickly, how to? Yeah. Just to remind you, don't be shy, it's fine. Ali! You didn't. Not all of us have Barbie dolls. Uh, <laughs> maybe hold it and I'll show you quickly. Uh, but I would just fix it somehow because it's going to get a bit of tension in it. So, mm. it's, how, how is it? Um, over, over. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. we'll just have to undo it. Yeah, bring the one from the bottom uh, through to the middle. Oh, yeah. I actually just go through muscle memory now. <laughs> I'm trying to understand. But yeah, you see, yeah, I think it's kind of like, just alternate them. Yeah, you go from one side to the other. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. But maybe do it a bit tighter. Yeah, I'll try to. So while you do them, I don't like that as well, it's hard. Yeah. Well, you do the maybe, I mean, we had that other piece that you could use as a ref, how, what we liked. Yeah. I think I kind of almost did it on mm. purpose a bit. Is that what you needed? <laughs> oh, it's undone. <laughs> I don't mind if it's a bit, just, actually, can you do it tightly? I think the huh? brief is almost like a man in a hurry to do this. Something like that. Oh, do you have enough maybe, now, though? Maybe try a section with an outlook tight. You should look in. Looking at the boxes because there no, is no because that one I think uses these ones and this is the one that we use for this. So I found this one. I don't know. This seems to be good thickness. If this could wear, this. No, 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 but I'm just talking about talking about the style of needle. Mm, no. I think that one might be better. Yeah. I've been using kind of quite a thin one recently, which has actually been fine. Okay. I mean, that's also something we could get the John Lewis, I think. Yeah, that's need. what I was just thinking. Oh, really? Can't. I don't think it's the one by RCA had quite a lot of sewing stuff, I remember. But maybe not. Uh, uh, like uh, you have to take the bus. Peter Jones, yeah. It's that same, not the same thing. The best John Lewis is Oxford Circus. <laughs> Oxford Circus, the best haberdashery. Yeah. Louis. Really? But that's on the Victoria line. You can just come in like this if that's cool, yeah. Yeah. Shall we put, uh, do you want to put the trousers on before and then you come out? Is that cool? Yeah? Let's do that. Hmm. Oh, I like these. That's for you. These ones. And then we'll do, the, do it out there. Keep the t-shirt for now and put the jacket on in the yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it off. It's <laughs> That's so big a class, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it's okay I'm for now, family. this is just I'm a test, test yes. thing. But I wanted to uh, also try the shoes. Uh, and, uh, no. Oh, <laughs> inside there. I was meant to be inside there. <laughs> See, I'm not into MS. I was kind of thinking MS is like ITV, I prefer BBC2. <laughs> I mean, they don't feel weird. Yeah. 
that. Yeah, no, I'm not arguing with you there. <laughs> like that time when I was a student, they gave me Harvey Nichols card, and when I had no money for food at the end of the month, I'd sometimes <laughs> go to the food section. <laughs> Your university gave you Harvey Nichols? No, it was like, listen, I grew up in the time before the credit crunch. They were just basically just throwing money, like, I mean, not money, credit at us. Uh, so I don't know why they gave me this. And then I just ended up using it for you, like shit, like, oh crap, I haven't got any money to buy food, but if I go there, I can actually never pay for it. I'll pay five pounds for the rest of my life. Yeah, they stopped that. We didn't know any better. We, honestly, we didn't know any better at the time. Everyone was doing it, so we thought that's how you live. Well, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I did actually pay it off. I remember my flatmate, Ricardo, once said to me, oh, this how we're going to have a lifelong relationship with that card. <laughs> I was like, it's fine, let's just put it on the card. Um, can I see? Oh, maybe it's too tidy. Too what tidy. Do you th actually, what do you think? Can I ask you? You want a bit more Can we see on the on the mannequin? Maybe let's have a look. It's just also when it's really tidy like that, it kind of ends up a bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Maybe slap touch is better. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. A uh, west pair. Actually, that's quite good. I think he's just fitting the trousers on okay. um, Louis. Oh, is Louis here? Yeah. Okay. Good. I might need to do that wire then. Um, maybe turn it. Oh. Kathy, what are you working on? About what? Tightly braided or messy? What was the messy braid? What it was before? It's gone, yeah. I think messy was better. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm kind of a fan of messy. Yeah. A bit more like it's just quickly yeah. been done. Yeah, so maybe not so tight. Sure. Yeah. Almost we want a bit, it to be, have a bit more volume. And then at the top, uh, especially at the top, actually, maybe don't uh, leave a space. Kind of okay. just do it straight up. Maybe don't leave a space. No, don't leave a straight space. There's one you don't get to hear often too tidy. <laughs> I think so. I think they sit in, a, in maybe uh, like slightly lower than intended, but I think it, it works. I think let's look at the with the jacket. Is it ready to? I think one is actually <laughs> best. Okay, then let me step back. Yeah, I think one's best, but let's see what Gary thinks. Was good. Do you meditate on people <laughs> prodding you like this? I do. <laughs> Take yourself out. Yeah, I like one more, but yeah. Thank you. Oh, I should probably do. 
do this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's better. It's still quite tidy. Uh, no, it's okay. I think you're doing this tidy, but it's just, <coughs> you just work it a bit. That's probably good enough instead of waiting for five times. Like you know, no, it's okay. That's okay. I'm to waste your time. Yeah, no, I think that's fine. Uh, it's just about working it a bit. It's almost like good. Uh, now that's pretend, no, uh, it's putting in, in the kind of where. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of it's like it. Yeah. So. so you can even leave some you didn't have uh, like this is actually kind of nice. Here piercing, so. You know, like with these guys, it's like quite often, like also just like, okay. okay. You know, like there's a saying, I'm also okay with it being messy. There's a signaling in that as well. Like I'm practically, I'm focusing on something. Let me not overanalyze this now, I'll do it in my head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, a, like almost like a thing about your masculinity, actually. Yeah, but then I, it makes me always actually almost immediately pissed off because I'm like, if a woman is kind of messy like that, we kind of yeah. start thinking in derogatory terms. But when it's a guy, then somehow that's like attractive. Sorry, I have, to, I have loads of knees. So no, do you mind doing one of those like no, walks? When they start to go, I start to I think let's look at it for hanging and then let's look at it put up again. Do that, otherwise I get branded. Just, yeah, yeah, just back and forward. Yeah. It's like normal. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, we don't Except those it woman, right? so. oven mittens. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're just not. They get yeah. Dodged. I feel like they that's something. They look a bit odd in the I know. in the original. I know. Well. It was like, do we like it? Do we not like it? We don't know. And then they just kind of follow through. Yeah, <laughs> but it might be quite nice to have <laughs> the raw. The original was called. Now it's like oven mitts. Maybe it's like too long as well. But we, why don't we just we just cut them off? Or? Yeah. So let's have a look with this one close now, and then I feel we are not. We will understand. Do you want? But maybe it's, it's nice to keep. Yeah, I think the step's nice. Yeah. Okay, Lou, do you want to do the same thing for us, please? Yeah. Yeah. Trousers look okay, don't they? But I guess what it does come down to, well, I guess. Um, yeah, <laughs> so let's get rid of the other mittens then. Maybe could you just leave it's it raw and just cut them at the jersey the line and, and just have like the raw edge? Yeah. Because yeah. I think I the raw is like quite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So do you think, like, in a way, that's kind of something you develop throughout your work? <laughs> <laughs> controlling your finish. Like, <laughs> Couldn't wait to get those off, could <laughs> it? <laughs> oh yeah, that looks much better. Defining factor of someone's practice. How much perfection Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see rawness can be perfect. <laughs> I was too excited. <laughs> it's perfect for what actually also be making. Oh, I know what I can, can do. Like this, is this is interesting. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are like. Sorry, I'm a teacher. Or something. Yeah. I was kind of thinking, like, that yeah, was actually one of those kind of like, how do you talk about <laughs> That's actually meaningful. Well, I guess it's about like, the, um, like, the process of that or the result of that. Like, yeah. 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 I mean, perfect yeah. is maybe yeah. like arbitrary. It kind of depends <laughs> on context. But I mean, yeah. it's. Is it, is it about controlling your finish or something? You finished it so quickly. Or controlling. I know, Sam. It's like... Actually, it's about making the right decisions for the right thing, right? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot easier the second time around. Yeah. I kind of, like, <laughs> choose it. Like, it's a kind of, like... Do you think... I guess we can just... I guess it can be intuitive, but becoming better at sort of choosing what elements need to be to what finish or something like that. So that's actually a really important story brief, like kind of or managing I mean, I, when you do something like raw. Yeah, with, if it's, it I know it's probably going to be quite right, difficult, but like it probably is better if it's loose. So purpose, it might really start to... Purpose, but you could just, could you just pack right the Velcro on at the corners or something yeah. rather than... Yeah. That looks good. 
good. There is, there is, yeah. a, mm -hmm. there is a pair, there is another pair of oven mittens, mm -hmm. those black shoe covers there we should try. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Mm. But then it is kind of about like over time understanding, yeah, understanding that or kind of, I guess maybe you never quite stop that. Maybe you become more conscious of it. Nice. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, <laughs> you can pull it there, maybe. Not so a little it. bit yeah. of. Um, do you want to put it on? Actually, we have Louis even. Let's have a quick look. Actually, that would be quite good. Um, so I need this one. I can just use a crop one for now. I need to do that flat, yeah. Louis, can we just see one more time with this um, other oven mitten? Maybe can be talked with the... <laughs> so we can start. attach it to uh, yeah. the garment from now. Inside here. I don't think I like it, but let's see. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. They're interesting. You think it's interesting? Mm. That's okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to put the jewellery? Yeah, I want to just, yeah, that's it. Um, does the zip go to the top or is that just no, not, is that not comfortable no. there? It's, just it's actually slightly off the shoulder. Forward, yeah, yeah, kind of there. Actually, that's good. Nice. It almost yeah, that's into better. Place. Is it attached to it? Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. <laughs> can, can you put it down? That's perfect. I suppose we, we decided to not give it a piece here, so really, I think that's nice actually. And then that's it. Yeah. Maybe more like that. Can we so for now, take a picture? Like, I think we should see him with it without our hands, so let's pin it there. Let's, do, let's fix it there actually with a, just a thread, mm -hmm. quick one. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. <coughs> I've thought about this before. Actually, we've just got a pin that's great. So we even talked about doubling it. What are you saying? Oh. Pin. Is that one? Yeah. We don't need to st stitch it. You sure? Yes. Uh, we're not finished. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, can we maybe have like another piece of just plain, uh, plain uh, ribbon? This is for just stitch that one just quickly, just mm -hmm. to see. No, let's just put it on with a bit of plain ribbon here. It won't be like this, really. No scissors. Yeah. That's just short. We want maybe that much. Because we are going to attach it with a D ring. Remember? Yeah. So we'll actually still move at the other side, actually. I want to, I want to step out of this. Can I have another pin, maybe? <coughs> you can, can, you just, um, can you lift that? Yeah. Yeah. I think I feel like it should be moved up. So we've got this jewelry, the zip situation, is that necessary? Uh, what do you mean? You were saying you wanted the zip in the... Um, I think still, because if Gary wants to get rid of this, we will still have control over the shape. Okay. So, so I think we're it's still... going to have... Where did you... It was in this point that we were going to put it. Yeah, it's so that it's one in the pattern, yeah. There. So the, it just controls the drape. And it's not going to be visible, it's going to be... It's hidden, inside. yeah. Okay, that's what So what, it might be like And it's just attached like to the this. body, just like yeah, top yeah. stitch. So it might be more like that. Yeah. Okay. Let me so. just think about something quickly. So we are putting one more, I think it's good to have one more highlight here. But if it's open, then we can even open it again and they yeah. can redistribute. Yeah, it's just, it's like, I was just thinking if you had, you don't want too much like silver things going on. It's visible. It won't be Can we take a picture? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Please. 
Uh, and just maybe just wait one sec. I just want to try a couple of other things else that we have discussed as well. And then, Sam, what do you think here? Uh... Yeah, so I was just saying to Kathy, I'm going to... Can somebody take a picture of her? Or... But again, with hands, I don't... We shouldn't have the hands in there. What hands? You have your hands in there. <laughs> I can't step away. Let me know when you're ready, and then we can see him from one a more. distance. One sec, I want one more picture. Um, let me just stay for a second. Because you know how we talked about having a couple of them. Um... That's cool. I think that's better. That's so better. we should have another ring, actually. Is it necessary to have it here? No. Let's it look at it. It's just a thing to try out. Let me see. That's actually quite nice. Can I... Do you want to step out of these, Louis, for me? Can you... Slowly, even just up body towards me. Thank you. So this Velcro. We I was going to just do it by hand, so oh, it's visible on the outside. To do. <laughs> so here, yeah. This is all bagged out now, so it's uh, going to push you to try and. Uh, sure. Yeah. Is there Think as long as you can just leave it flat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do. I'll. I know it looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Kathy, what do you reckon? Oh, that's cool. One sec. Yeah. <laughs> What's the... What do you reckon? Yeah, it looks good. Do you want to do one of those ones for us? But uh, I do think we come here, then you can see. I just go. Oh. I think we definitely want an earring as well. Okay. Cool. We can look. Yeah. Uh, we can see it. Uh, no, no, no. We haven't uh, looked from a distance. Okay. Come here. Fine. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so oh, the, like the, the jersey pieces back here, for example, are so what do you stuff think about that we've done where we've like deliberately um, stitched um, yeah, like a simple okay. t-shirt so, or something little, in clothes, uh, and so like four stitch to sew together um, wrong. Um, and, um, and then it's kind of done yeah. this weird distortion yeah. and we've used that as a starting point, yeah. yeah. either yeah. just as a visual reference or Exporting it as, That's cool. and, and then how do you feel? You don't feel like right anything's falling off. Building the new kind of surfaces from that. It's good. Um, and then this is kind yeah. of more, I guess, of like you, physical. It feels mistakes, like you're kind of a bike courier. Yeah. together, and then yeah, the, the process twist. of scanning, <laughs> photogrammetry <laughs> also well. creates images. Yeah. So then you kind of don't know what you're going to get until the thing, and then you can work mm. with that Amazing. as a base. So I think, uh, yeah. I think we're all good then. So you, you, you can go and do what you need to do. I don't know, I wanted two more. Yeah, yeah, take this off. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, you kind of don't really have that much control over what it's, it's going to do. It's great. Um, which I think is quite interesting. Yeah. Let's just get the deal with more. Yeah. I like these ones. Yeah. Okay. Let's wait for Gary. Uh, he might change things. But that's good as you have those. Yeah. It's quite a nice sort of like co-creation, but you'll only get that result once. Um, you couldn't like replicate it again, which I think is quite nice. Cool. Yeah. Uh, how long have I got? Like how do you work up basically notches? How long have I got? Uh, I just so we have yeah. half an hour before. before so like I would just decide where to put them in, unless you've got certain scene Gary, lines meeting. And we have the, you know, the so discussion. you have a scene coming into here, then you Gary know just put a notch half there. An half an hour. Um, so this, but yeah, otherwise I just put them in. This we can just use that one to knock yeah, it. Yeah, wherever I wherever I think. Uh, I need to go for a I need to eat something as well. I think I was asking. No normal person would just pick that up and drink it, right? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I mean... I didn't, sorry, I didn't I wanted, to, I wanted to drink again. <laughs> Did you almost do it again? Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> he needs to put something on top. <laughs> it's like childproof. <laughs> it's like, child, how do you childproof for somebody who's 35? How do you childproof for somebody who's 35? You just have to chaperone them all. <laughs> 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 
this is really, it's really, this is how my, my is life your... at home is. It really stresses me out. I sometimes think about what he could do because it's so unpredictable. You just need some red tape, just tape, tape it off. <laughs> and the thing is, the moment I put something out of bounds, like I used to, I, I, oh. at, some point, at some point I was like, don't touch anything on my desk. And then anytime he was looking for anything, he immediately went to the desk. Yeah. <laughs> It was actually worse if I said, don't go there, please. <laughs> Even please. <laughs> Come with me. With me. You do love me. It's he terrible. loves me. <laughs> Are you demanding it? Yeah. Um, you don't look like a bike for real, I just... Why is a bike for real, Jay?
I have some here, thank you. So. Oh. Huh? I to say. Oh, you put your code in, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a minute time out. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. <sighs> 
Yeah, a little bit here. Do you have your brightness down, or is it, is that just me? Yeah, I have it really low. Oh, low, OK. Wait, let me do that. Is that to save battery? Okay. Yeah, I've just got to use it enough, and it's so, so, so bright when I do it. Actually, I could talk to Louis for a bit. Okay. <laughs> Do it, I right? do it. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So we just do a little bit Louis, here. Can I borrow you? Yeah. Maybe yeah. Can do it here. Can I borrow you for a second? You can bring. Uh, keep no, it's no maybe hard like, lines. Yeah, maybe like at this pressure. Yeah. They're quite soft. Yeah, yeah. soft. Yeah. But it's nice to have those white accents coming mm. here. Much better without the oven mitt. Oh. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> I saw. Proper I saw. <laughs> Sending a print <coughs> request. So um, I just wanted to, for the ring, I guess I could make it out square. Why? It was not overkill. Maybe it's nice like if it's a bit. Huh? I quite like to square it. Yeah, know. me too. I could even take the edge off, but a little bit chunky is better. Mm. It's actually better for him as well when I can make the raw right edge. Nice I'll go with square. It's clipping at the moment. Um, it's just hanging over. Okay. Right. In terms of the performance. Oh, I see. And if it's like, well, definitely if it's outside, I have it like headphones. Oh, yeah. Go around the top. Have you got one of those here? Yeah. Can we maybe try that out? Yeah. So I can kind of see if it holds with others. Good one. Thank you. Oh, I see. He's got headphones in. But then it might just be, I mean, is, not, is, is everything with a performance? Yeah, but then it should be able to be for both. Um, what's this? That's the big circle thing. I could make it out of this. And then the way. Do you have that on both ears? Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, as well. so you can put it in just one in either ear as well. I think it's probably okay, but actually it's maybe perfect to see if it also clashes visually. It's really this one. Oh, I see. 
this actually goes around the back and see if I see the horse's face. Hmm. I see. Mm. Look about you. So it's not That's not going to work. No, no, so wait, I'm just trying to count. We're outside, I'm kind of like, how's that happening? <laughs> Doesn't mean where I can. I mean, things like put it to this. Oh, it's just going to drop a little bit harder. It does like clash with it, really. It's a bit flexible. Really. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. So we need to um, photograph. Can I have your phone for a second? Two nine nine two one. Yeah, I know. So let me see if I can find your pen. We'll see what Gary says as well. But this was kind of comfortable. This is not going to interfere, right. is it? Yeah, I think. Yeah. I'm going to just like cut it. Yeah, yeah. I think oh, one, like one, la like one, like one, like one brush right hand is coming around there. Mm. I work like a whole day of not shaving. And then we shave, it's like, just like shave lightly here. Yeah. yeah. And we do want to go in the direction of the plate. Yeah, we go. I would follow downstairs. Or like your job with the shaving, I just like, <laughs> when, when we had the place organized in like the right way, I just shade yeah. over. Have you got any? Uh, yeah, I think so. I can work around it. I'll just prep it and see what goes right. right. yeah. 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 But I think that will work. <clears throat> I'm glad I pulled that, actually. All right. Thank you. Oh, actually, hang on. One sec. Uh, I have another option. Use, can you put it back in? Mm. Back in. Yeah. Might be actually no, nice. I have it with this here. I think if, I think if this sat like a little bit higher. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What's an easy and way to fix that? Ones, well, we didn't Safety pin. Yeah, well, I mean, you won't <laughs> see. No, there's nothing Like the jacket I mean, covers I hope Gary has his styling kit. Thing. He might have it with him, oh. probably. Yeah. Probably have a clamp or something. Yeah. So he'll like, yeah, so the key be able to adjust that. Like it at all. Okay. Okay, so we have the other one. Okay. Thank you. Um, hey. Hey, hey. He's on his way, so he should be here for 1.30. Okay. What time is lunch? 2 o'clock on the okay. Oh, he just texted now. Traffic is super bad. I'm worried I may be a little late. I'm sorry. Yeah. We like streaming still, I keep yeah. forgetting. We all have it. This is the whole point. Well, <laughs> I'm finding this very stressful. Please be kind. You're doing so well. Am I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. my natural habitat. I'm gonna. Can I just borrow this mannequin for a second? Yeah. Considering that you didn't want me to bring it at all. <laughs> yeah. It's quite useful, now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, we can't bring it. I know. And you know, like minimalism, like we need clean <laughs> space. You like it? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I like a clean space. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Scandinavian cleanliness, <laughs> wild balls. <laughs> Well, both roving to, to Clark and Will. It's just a fantasy. I'm a normal person. I'm a normal person? Yeah, hello, my name hey, is Pat. Hey, my name is Pat. I'm, 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 I'm a normal person. I like minimalism, <laughs> clean spaces. <laughs> <laughs>
Fashion is painful. <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> So I can kind of do it like that, Cathy, and then I can... Mm. Yeah. And then in places I can go in and like do hi like highlight as well. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So it works quite well, I think. Yeah. Kind of wouldn't really mind my mannequin back. Hmm? Mannequin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy? Do you not call the mannequins? Stand. Stand. Don't we call them stand, right? Stand. A mannequin as well. Torso. I think. Yeah, I guess maybe, is, it a, is it a torso if it doesn't have a stand? I don't know. A torso is just a sort of part In body. Sweden, there is a saying. We are not in Sweden. A loved <laughs> child has many names. Yeah, we're not in Sweden. What does that mean? It means like if you call someone like so many different things, like Snooki, yeah. oh, Pisa, like they means that you love them. Yeah. Right. In Sweden we say, when the wild boar come, get out of the way. Do you remember the one from uh, Golden Girls that, that always starts with the stories about St. Olaf? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, and everybody wants to die the moment she says it. Back in San Olaf, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> when we're in Sweden, I want to kind of die when he says in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've just thought that's probably too late now. <clears throat> I should have thought about it before, but the, oh, no, the little cushiony bit at the back of the collar is quite nice on them. It's better. It gives quite a nice shape, but. Oh, it's too this? Big. Oh, yeah. yeah. Too late now. <laughs> Next time. <Yeah. laughs> so, can't think of it. So, do we have time. like. Uh, do you have like a Taylor's chalk, Eden? Uh, I've got my invisible pen, my magic one. Magic. Do, uh, and it's something white. It doesn't have to be Taylor's chalk. Okay. Do you have a white pen? Yeah, my pencil pen. Can I borrow it? Yeah. What do you need to draw on, pal? Uh, paper. On paper? Why mm. did you ask about chalk? Because I just need something white. I thought we had chalk with us. On paper? Yeah, I mean, like, that's just what we normally have. Huh? I oh, just you need want something to draw white. over the yeah. top of the printout in white? Oh. <laughs> you could uh, oh, okay. use pencil as well. It's kind of shiny. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, I have a pencil as well. I have something. Okay. Beautiful egg shape. Pear shape. Pear shape. Yeah, pear Gobson shape. Hundred. 
Oh, cool. I think, I think this, is, yeah. this is perfect. Might even be finished with it. Thank you very much. Or you just stitching these guys? Yeah, Eden, okay. No, just uh, just uh, continue what you're doing. Sam wanted it, like the edge of it to go there. Oh. I think I need to just see, do you want to put it on quickly? Sure. I can see. a bit um, tight in places, so let it go. Oh. 
Ha? Oh, you know what? It's on the wrong side. <laughs> but let's, let me check the position, right? So, um, yeah. Let's have a look. Um, you know, I think. You know what I think? Oh, can I switch the side? Because we need to know where the zip will go. Zip will go before. Before secure, knowing where to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's probably best doing it last. So, just switch, just switch the place How of that one. That? It's like these things that always happens. I feel. <laughs> I remember looking at it, being yeah. like, "Yeah, that is the right side." But then it's also the wrong just side. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we can do that as well. Cool. <clears throat> So let's just flip that around and then you can do the trousers in the meantime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Hold up. Yeah, more is better than that. Yeah. <laughs> but they look cool, like, do you have to polish them more? I quite like this finish. They're, they're like some of them are <coughs> earmark. No, the finish is something else. Some of them are earmarked for earrings, so I'm just uh, working out what I'm doing so the next time. I'll go get a coffee before we start. Uh, uh, yeah, that would be good. Yeah, I don't mind the roughness, but uh, some of them just be nice. <laughs> just test once. Okay, so it's maybe earring, maybe earring. And then the D ring needs to be done. Should that be a D ring or should it be like one of those? Do you have any detail on the jacket? No. So I can do whatever I want, really, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you going outside, Per? I might just come. Yeah, I just need some. Do you think a D, D, D ring? No, I like this kind of slightly square like shape, small. Yeah, me too. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. What do you want? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to save this. Maybe I'll just actually copy that shape. I don't know how many I should pick a width. You right? Sorry, oh, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> uh, yes, I forgot. Sorry.
Any word? I have one. Oh, no. um, I pinned it to a piece of paper. So I thought. No, I did pin it to one of my... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Do we need some? Our path picked it up. Yeah, I think that was the problem. Oh, that's it. That's the problem. Um, um, he's gone outside. Um, no, I, I was using the one he had. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh. Um, why don't you ask, maybe they have one here, actually, they might, yeah. Um, this was terrible. Let's not waste more material. Oh. Not quite the right thickness. Hey. Alles klar. Uh, per Kaffee holen gegangen. Keine Ahnung. Uh, Eden sucht eine Nadel im Heuhaufen oder so. Hilfe. <lacht> ja, aber ja? ich weiß nicht, was, okay. was du, was, wie du, wo, wo, wo du dazu kommst in der Equation. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm distressed now. Somehow. Hast du schon mal was gefeilt? Äh, ja, habe ich das Hast du? Ja. Oh, ja. Yeah. Ja, okay. ich komme aus dem Dorf, das heißt, mein Papa hat, also ich muss meinem Papa ganz viel helfen mit verschiedenen Sachen. Okay. Ich habe tatsächlich schon was gefeilt, mm. aber nicht mit Kahlholz. Mm. Okay, Kahlholz, okay. Dann können wir try this. 
Ich weiß es nicht. Ich versuche nur gerade, ob du mir helfen kannst. Um, Nein. Two parallel stitches. You just draw a straight line there to there, which is 0.5 from there, and then you draw another line 0.5 from there, straight across. So don't follow it. Very do a straight wasteful. line. Okay. Uh, and if you do it on both legs. Yeah, let's just do that. That works. Hey, Gary. Hi. How are you? Hi. So good to see you. Nice to see you. Okay. Well, I feel like I've been just watching you for the last 24 hours. How's it going? Uh, yeah, OK, I think. My hands hurt a bit, but uh, that didn't come with it. It looks so good. Oh, you like it? Like yeah. It. I'm just, and I love this as well. Yeah, that's, that's actually come out really nicely. Mm. So I'm making a D-ring on the edge here. Nice. Um, and then I'm making a big one. Yeah. 
Nice. So we'll hang two more of that. And Look then, how thick this is. It feels yeah. really like bike chainy. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. I want, like, I wanted it to be a bit substantial. I'm, wa I'm wondering about an earring. That'd be nice. Oh, yeah. Um, is Louis here? Is Louis somewhere? Yeah, that would be cool. Can I can I show you this? Is, um, can you? Sorry, um, Lily. Lily. Hey, can you ask him to bring his? Uh, yeah. That's what you call that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I made this when I was at uni. I'm quite obsessed with that. Is that when I was, my, I was just looking there? That's from my degree show collection. I love it when you used to do all this leather stitch thing. Yeah. Oh, my God, this took so long. I actually sold a few. Can I made a bracelet. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, and nobody else could do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe it's they very, could, and they were just like, no way. Job. Yeah. yeah, maybe they could, and they were like, just no way. I, I remember asking this tailor guy, and he was like, he actually, I think, I felt like he did a bad job on purpose. So. I feel like it's the kind of thing where you could, like, you'd get the satisfaction out of doing it once. But then, like, yes. doing it but then, like, doing like seven braces uh -huh. because somebody ordered them and you <laughs> priced them terribly. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. But I don't know, I was kind of a bit of a reference object. I no, I think it's really good. I think, like, when I was talking to Pear the other day about those bike, you know, when they have the thick bike chains yeah. that are like wrapped in plastic, yes. it is essentially that. But I mean, did you want to use it? I mean, we could. Where? I don't know. Let's, I, let's see. I, I mean, we have it. Yeah, yeah. actually, that's it. I that. need to kind of. Yeah. See everything. Yeah, I've been. But I feel like it's it kind of it has a place. It's, it Maybe. Feels like it sits in this world. I do. Yeah, I do know what you mean. But I, I think yeah, that's what but I want to. I do wonder where this silver feels a little bit more. Refined. Yeah, I think so. But I brought some things. I mean, like a bit I don't think. But maybe we should go with a custom-made one and so kind yeah. of. But you can play it with it. Yeah, it's here. It. Yeah. So it's nice to have. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. In a way, when I was just working on it, I mean, originally. How are you? Hey. Nice to see you. And you. I'd originally wondered whether we wanted like another material in here, but then it started feeling kind of decorative. It becomes a yeah. It comes a bit too kind of pretty then, doesn't yeah. it? So I quite way, like the the. The raw material rather than anything too decorative. Pear took some pictures of it on Louis, actually. Pear? Has he left his phone? Oh, yeah, there. Is his phone lying there? Um, earring, though. Maybe let's do that. Can you put the earpiece in, maybe? Because uh, we have to do a go around for it to work. So I thought I'll wait for you because it's a bit of work just before. I Commit lots of things to it. Could you um, show Gary Hello. the? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Nice to, you. nice to see you too. You show Gary the pictures that we took earlier. Yeah, Gary, do you want to see over here? I fun. mean, I sent it to you anyway. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is where we are. At. Um, um, yeah, let's just press. So I drew on this one. So maybe it's easy to see here. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. What, I'm, what I'm, I was yeah, hoping. Nice. Is, did you have your stylist kit with you? <laughs> Spend the day in Hampshire. Okay. You know, some we, uh -huh. <laughs> they, they are fine. They sit, but I, I think if the stylist was a little bit higher, yeah, it would fit better here. Yeah. Yeah. So if you could just uh, yeah. Yeah. amazing. So. I mean, that would be terrible if I didn't even bring that. Yeah. <laughs> because we could take them in, but I just thought you'd probably have something with you. So. I think let's yeah, let's we can get them perfect. Yeah. For, for the, the amazing. Um, but yeah, so we've kind of tried it out, and then there'll be a little silver highlight on the side. I think it's well. really nice. Yeah. It's actually balanced. I like the way that it sits on top of the drape as well. Mm -hmm. Like it kind of. It works, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then this is just me, like, uh, light, like light spread, like just to shade uh, this pleat, so it's not one bit is kind of hard drops. Uh huh. I did a test, so it looks sort of like this. I thought. Just to sort of highlight I some of the drapes. I just want to get on with it. Yeah. So and then I'll do a step. Oh, shit. Like it's, it's like and my hands hurt like hell. Yeah. Kind of it doesn't have any machine, level. like motors. Yeah. Which, which is cool. And then this was kind of like, and then more yeah. obviously. With Nick yesterday. For like some but when we were talking about doing it from here, and he was like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Because there's some Because he wanted to do something quite contrasty based on our initial research. And then he was like, concerned we might lose some detail. Uh -huh. Maybe let's just uh, try to get in there. Like, but we're doing it on side now, down I think. <laughs> but either way, <laughs> oh, it will just sorry. bring out those pleats a bit more, which is quite nice. Yeah, nice. So I might have to use the... No, I have to use the um, um, 
the aircraft structure because uh-huh. we can't get the. I wanted to just clamp it over, but we can't. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I can kind of. No, not kind of. I can solder it here, so it pretends I mean, to it's be. It's quite cool, isn't it? It's cool with the thing in there yeah. as well, with uh, your your gear. Yeah. Very, I don't mind that, but I mean, do you, are you happy with me soldering? I'm sorry, I don't want to mess this one up, but soldering a ring there, and then these have the movement, that will be fixed. Yeah, I think it's nice. Okay. I feel like it'll, it this feels quite low, so it yeah. would be quite nice to have, to have like, another highlight, right? And then follows it all the way down. Yeah. I think that'd be really good. And then I have one or two, but then you can just say later, one okay, looks perfect. great, two yeah, is yeah, yeah. too many crowd. Cool. I quite like the two, but it's just... Didn't mind it, but we have them. I've done them already, so they're ready. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. Last one. So I'll just make that up. Thank you. Well, except for the zip and the other side of the Velcro. The... This one's done. Yeah, I think... How many hours? Yeah. Are you fit, fit it now. I think it's cool. So we just need to have the Thanks zip in place, and then we know the place for okay. that. Yeah. Cool. Well, and so the shoes we have as well. Oh, yes. good. And the oven mittens. I wasn't so into them when I looked. We no, can look again and see what you think. <laughs> I don't think I did check. <laughs> no, she didn't really like it. Same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Same. Like, weird. They look really good on the photo. I don't know what this is. Just like an inflatable thing. I thought I did okay. I thought I did okay, but clearly I did shit. Oh, well. Yeah, that's good. I wonder what that is for. Can you inflate them? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Can you inflate them? Do you think so? No, I quite what? love it if you could inflate them. Like so, <laughs> what for? Um, no, they look quite good on the pictures, don't they? I feel like uh, the neon's quite gross. We have black spray paint. I wonder whether we do just spray them black. Because then at least it doesn't, because it's almost like does it doesn't make it distracting. The yeah, so to me. That's not what we've made, basically. So yeah. what's the point of highlighting it? Yeah. Fine, so let's just spray those down then. I can get some black spray paint. But I like the shape of the shoe. I feel like it, it works well with what the volume of the, the, like, the top, the yeah. like, narrow shoe, yeah. as opposed to these yeah. monsters. Yeah. <laughs> they're fun, but maybe not so this. Yeah, there, there's something in them. I think yeah. they're, they're interesting. They're kind of like weird sort of sock shoes, which I yeah. Um, cool. But yeah, I think let's spray them. Or even if, I'm wondering if it's even just spraying. The bottoms. Yeah, maybe if those just go. And then the top is quite a nice little feature. Yeah, do you think? Maybe yeah. Just look at the schedule as a guide. Maybe we start with just doing that. Yeah, we'll just check it out. Yeah. 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 Then we can always do the rest. Just to find the right things. <coughs> well, we've been doing... Uh, Lily. Lily. We've been doing an outfit oh, yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. I how are you? I didn't even realise you were pregnant the last time I saw you. Yeah. I, did, I don't think I registered it. Mate, was I pregnant the last time I saw you? I it? think so, but was there a bump? Probably I mean, not. Yeah. yeah. I, th- I feel like we were both sat down, so maybe I just didn't yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, good. Yeah, we're really, all my... Really good. I also yeah. think it was so interesting. Yesterday is like the amount of work <laughs> yeah. that you don't actually register on the document yeah. in there, which is yeah. almost kind of a shame because it's like uh, internal workings <laughs> that you just can't see. But if you didn't have them, then you wouldn't have the three D. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this justifies the price point. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Step, yeah. step one in justifying the price point. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like it's going to be um, super nice to shoot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, we, we're super happy. And I think the team, like, just talking yesterday with Nick, I think everybody felt quite excited. And uh, with Louis as well, I think it's going to be, with his singing, I think it's going to be quite powerful. Yeah. yeah. What, what time is that? Uh, I think they're scan, They're going to do a three D scan yeah. of Louis in the full look at around four. Okay. Then I think performance. Then another scan with like a weird light setup, yeah. which okay. to see what what it looks like. Yeah. And then I think the shoot. Or? The shoot because the idea to shoot with the light was that Nick wanted to wait until um, 
sort of early evening. Mm -hmm. mm. So to I think um, project like a really really high like bright light. That's what we talked about yesterday. Yeah. So I think he wanted to wait until like seven ish to do that. Yeah. But then before that, I think there will be other elements um, around his performance and maybe something in here. Mm. But I think we're going to talk about all of those things yeah. quite soon. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Chatting too. I feel like it's kind of, in a way, that they've moved the chat to slightly. I feel like I actually know what's going on. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been walking in going, hi everyone. Yeah. <laughs> like doing introductions. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you met my new my new. Hi, I'm Gary. Okay. Nice to meet you. This is Joseph. Hi, nice mm. to meet you. How are you doing, boys? How was the arena and everything? Good. Yeah. The arena. He went to one of the seamstresses with some production. Production. The machine kid needs to keep moving, even though we're doing this. So. Yeah. There's things to it. Yeah. Maybe if you put it on this side, because there's a split here, so we can put that. Does that work? Oh. Oh. <laughs> but it could click there. Mm-hmm. Do you want to print those, yeah? I think, yeah, I think it's okay, position-wise. I never, I never switched it off, so I guess I'm still on. Sure, it's easier. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah. I just, it's also just because um, I suddenly realized this morning that actually everything's on record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found that really stressful as a thought. Yeah, I feel like you're, um, you are slightly prone to an overthink as well. Oh, totally. <laughs> like you're just spiraling with the way you I think um, it's also what's quite nice about it is that this is how we'd normally be doing. If we were doing a show today, this is probably how you'd been working yesterday anyway. Like yeah. under pressure, trying kind to get of. it all done. But at the same time, you don't really like, normally you kind of have the privacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like private meltdowns. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a meltdown booth? Yeah. <laughs> There has been men meltdowns behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> Here and there. Here and there. That's his part. That's a total of BTS video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So what have you been up to? It's been kind of... Um, it's weird. It feels very back to school. I know. Week. It's like, like totally... Everyone's just like really just on your case. Yeah. So I've got like a few different... Um, different jobs come in that are like all prepping this week for like the next few weeks which is quite, it's kind of mm. it's good to be busy I guess yeah but it's also like I feel it slightly just like, feels so so um, unusual yeah I feel mm. really like out of out of the pace of like having to think about more than one thing at a time yeah <laughs> but you know I know what you mean yeah um, but how are you yeah I'm good yeah just like uh, getting the production out and making sure that season, new season is started and then, and then working on some exciting products for January, which I'm going to fill you in on. Yes, yes, yeah. We'll um, that. But that's really cool. And uh, I mean, yeah, just, just some boring fashion stuff, yeah. admin <laughs> stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Life. Yeah. Um, I think it's also what's quite nice about this is that. It feels like, I think from New York now, it feels like Fashion Week's actually happening now. Yeah, it like does. Like, this right. is the right time to do this. I feel like if we'd done this yeah. any earlier, it would, it would have, have been like, like yeah, whereas from I feel the like pool. London Fashion Week is very much happening. Yeah. Which is There's good. parties, so many parties. I know. So it definitely feels like it's back. Yeah. Um, I mean, there is still 
a pandemic, but hey, I know. <laughs> people have to party, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> I know. Someone's got to get a drink of free drinks. <laughs> exactly. What we can do, actually, guys, is to just uh, start the sip thing. So let me show you on the on the steam press over here. <laughs> so basically, the, there is a sip which we are out buying now, which we did decide not to leave, to leave out before. But actually, I think we yeah, should so put it back. Did in. you go to New York? Because it's a sip no. that's in place to kind of are hold not really the drain. I, I mean, in a, in a I think it's think now it's kind of like floating know. out a bit. Yeah. But it's very and this sip okay. is on Just the. Yeah. Front Still. right. So oh, if yeah, you locate this pattern, you should be able to see a zip line. And then what you can do, you can just mark that position. And then there is a zip that goes, uh, the, other, the other end goes in between these two. So this just stitched on here. And then, cross the border that way. And then it's sandwiched in between here. So if you can okay, find so this. It's cut open, and then on one side is zip here, and the, on, the, on the other side in that seam. Yeah, but. Yeah, this one is just stitched like on the body, so you don't have to cut it ah, open. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's an open-ended, and then it goes once yeah. it goes here. So what you can do is locate this pattern, yes. locate this pattern, okay. and then just mark the position of them with the two pins. And then because Sam is going to buy the zip now, then it's just already. And all the patterns are hanging there. Let me know if you have troubles finding it. Go. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Before we all can travel properly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because I wonder what will happen with like, um, like will you do sales in Paris? No, but I think that's what we've been talking about just planning next season, and uh, we're definitely doing Japan. But uh, from yeah, what I gathered, they normally do a show in Paris. Yeah, they do. Always, but they are just still debating: is it worth it? Is there enough? It might just be still just digital for international yeah. stores. Uh, I think until everyone can have like free movement, it's just going to put people off doing it. Yeah, I agree, it's, yeah. it's too much. It's too much. But you went on holiday, didn't you? Did you? No, I haven't been anywhere. It's so sad. Okay, it's not sad. <laughs> I'm trying to think it's not sad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Manuel was in in Italy for like three weeks because he was seeing his family and stuff. So that was. Nice for him. You had my phone, right? Yes, it's... Uh, sorry, I was... I also had that. Um, this... was kind of done... What's that? Oh, uh, <laughs> hey! Are they the things that they... Yeah. So I'm just figuring out how many more to make. Yeah, because I'm a bit restricted with timings now, but it should be okay. Uh, I'm just saying that. Let me just check Cathy. Will the oh, this is will fine. the secret be small at all from the <laughs> outside? I feel like, did you go to sleep last night? Yeah. Can't wait. Because we couldn't work. find the secret, <laughs> yeah, exactly. so we just kept something all night. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this braid. Oh yeah, good one. Um, do you want to just as a straight thing? I, I think so. Okay. Does the, does the, I don't know. Or, I mean, it might be nice if you actually saw it on the garment. Yeah, we should have a look at it worked. on. Can we do that? I think um, Eden I guess if we're going to stop on. for lunch. Eden, Eden, can we maybe put the piece on? Yeah. yeah you yeah, had yeah, it yeah, on yeah, earlier, yeah, right? Yeah, that's a good one because that will take some time to do and prep as well. Yeah, I just, it's like, as you say, it might just be that it, looking at it on here, it feels no, really I like... No, I think it starts, but um, let's have a look at it. Yeah, but can we just quickly look at it just so I can plan what it's doing? Uh, maybe you've, you're fine. Uh, either, actually, it doesn't, really doesn't matter. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we sort of tried uh, also with just a straight one. It's all worked on that fabric, I think. That one's done. That one's done. Yeah. I guess not that much. Uh, maybe. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's right. So see on the gown, maybe, I don't know. I don't know whether, is this maybe just nicer though? Just the, the flat? Yeah. Let's see what Pear thinks is all, but I do feel like the braid becomes a little crafty. Mm. Like this feels a bit more kind of practical. Real, yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Okay, so then it's much easier. Uh, it's, yeah, it is easier. easier yeah. But let's see what Pear thinks as well. But I, I feel... No. I, there's just a, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I, I feel like... Um, yeah, if this feels a little homemade. Say again. Can you come here for a second? Yeah. Break now. Uh, okay. Space, so we're going to go for lunch. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. But if you... At least half... So this woman can come in. It's still streaming. Yep. If we can just have that space, but if halfway through you just need to come in, I know you've got some stuff to fit in. Mm. That's I'm happy with you doing that as long as there's no sort of like noise or whatever, crazy noise. Okay, so what does that mean now? Half an hour or an hour? Uh, for lunch? Yeah. Yeah, there's an hour lunch. Yeah. We're back on at, at 3.15, we've got that okay. talk with Nick. Um, but just if we could clear the space initially, just for at least yeah. the first half hour of this scan, so that they can come in. Oh yeah, I see the scanning, okay. So half an hour, and then I can come back in and do some things. Yeah. Okay, cool. yeah. Will I be able to come back as well? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. No, but I can't do anything outside. Okay. Right. Oh, how stressful. I was just saying about... No, the, now it's actually getting stressful. Yeah. <laughs> that brain, uh, whether yeah. it should just be... A, I, I think yeah. I prefer just the flat. Fine. And not the brain. No, not quite. <laughs> Yeah, almost. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm happy with the flat. Is it sure. gonna it feels a bit more practical yeah. when it's yeah. like a, fl I mean, I like have a flat already, band so with these. And like the fact yeah. that the metal is like yeah. squared yeah. off and flat. Yeah. It kind of goes I mean, that cost, oh, was, like, I remember spending like a so, yeah, day or two on the mask sure. or just it's to get the right shade. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah But exactly. it's been my friend yeah. ever since. Hey. I have different and widths as well. I quite like that width though, because I feel like that looks quite real. And yeah. it's the kind of shape that fits that's most people. Yeah. That's, that was sort of the brief. Yeah. There is normally one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like, you know, when they like design like medical nice equipment or earphones or things like that. Yeah. They're kind of...
You know, like it take, took us a while to get to like a good place at the factory, and, like the, 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 the yeah, it takes like a couple of seasons yeah. to kind of find a balance, right? yeah. so they actually know what you want. Yeah, and I think this this season is like a really good, a good job. But yeah, um, Mihal also be a really good thing. I'm gonna put in another order for some stuff. Mihal, I'll let you know if you want. Anything. Mihal also yes, me a really good thing about that once. He said sometimes you need to design what the factory is good at. Yeah. 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 Almost yeah. go in, find yeah. out what they can do, and then you. Yeah, like that because they could have a speciality yeah. that's like amazing that you wouldn't even even consider. Like yeah. But actually, I must say, like as a young designer, you sometimes try to force them to do stuff, and then it looks terrible. I know, but, but that, that's kind of what we learned yeah. now. Yeah. Kind of what we learned now. Watch out. Yeah. I can also maybe. 
Do you need any of us to move? Do you mind just moving that way? Yeah. Mm. It'd be really awkward if I said no. <laughs> <laughs> um, that way? Further? And if you can come over. Maybe you're all right there. Okay. Um, hey, if you don't mind either going left or right a little bit, I'll try and slot Nick in each other. Oh, yeah. So... You're going to put Nick where? Yeah. Oh, in the middle, I think. Yeah. Just go back. Do we need to be further back? No, I'm just going to go. Oh, sorry, wrong side. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be on the curve. Yeah, yeah. You were on that? So sorry, you can come more there, so... Just there, so we obviously want you to be... Yeah. So where does Nick go? I don't know. Yeah, I think we're just going to stand back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're going to shit. That's the pickle. What's that then? Clean and rinse. Rinse. I mean, I'm just calling it pickle. Oh, thank you so much. It's hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 well, it all, it all rises up, so yeah. we're aware of how it is. It's fine. How far does this space go up here? You've got that one room there. I'll show you this. We've got that one room there. 
Yeah, and then that's it. There is a kind of weird sort of, well, there's a weird cupboard up there, yeah. and there's a similar one back that way. Yeah. Um, I was just showing that when we first moved in here, we're not going to do this because I'm wasting time. Um, when we first moved in, there was the weirdest structure in this place. I'll show you, look. This was a, they, this is up where we are now. Oh, wow. That thing was up there. Where? So that sweeping staircase is where that straight staircase is. Mm. And they had this really completely useless. What was it? It's a meeting room. It's oh an executive God. meeting room. <laughs> Very which cool. is, considering how hot it gets in yeah. here, yeah. would have been really unpleasant to have under that window. Probably hence why they had a huge air conditioning duct above it. <laughs> and then down here was just super gloomy. You see how miserable yeah, yeah, it looks. Yeah. What did you do with it? I oh, just threw it out. Well, it's not conventional, but it looks. It's not conventional. What do you do with it? I, I could have driven it around the house, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Presents. Did you not have my number then? I, did, no, I probably did actually. <laughs> but, um, no, no. Sadly, it just got skipped. How wasteful of us! Yeah. So how long have you been in this space? Uh, getting on for four years, I think. Something like that. It feels like I've been here before, but you know, always when you look at it, it feels bigger. But maybe it's because we right. had all our I think, stuff here. Yeah, I think we're well, it's <laughs> it's room in this part of it. Yeah. Normally we sort of yeah. separate the background yeah, from yeah, the foreground. Yeah. Oh, so okay. It's that way. Yeah. 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 It's hard to turn the space if there's nothing in okay, it. Okay, so if I'm talking, I'll make sure. I guess it's like sure. one of these things you can make it look however you want it. Yeah, it's it's very tall this yeah, place, yeah. which is great because yeah. it feels kind of in over. Amazing. But it's not great for light, actually. So, because we've got our north light is there, but it's really high up, and that's just kind of, you know, mm. so if you, because I said, oh, fantastic, we've got great north light, but actually it's not, it's really okay. high up north light, um. so it's really good if you were sort of standing about 10 foot in the air over there, oh. <laughs> good, good place to put people. We actually did make a sort of shoot once, which was on scaffolding, so we could get people 10 foot in the air over there, but anyway. well, I'm sure we're not here to speak about that, so are we supposed to be, am I demasking? Is that okay, gentlemen, if I take the mask off? Yeah, of course. Give us a little bit of a kind of brief, where should we start? Um, it? That's probably worth introducing why we're here, and then um, progressing on to, I guess, um, talking a little bit about the and then talking about what we're going to do this evening. I think that's the main part of it, isn't it? Just to sort of let Per talk a bit in general about what he's done, his practice, or anything else. And then talk a little bit about what we're doing here, yeah. and then just sort of culminate by talking what we're going to do with Louis later. Yeah. So. Yeah. Don't don't um, don't put me in a sort of chairperson position. <laughs> I don't want to be talking about first practice. And should I just go? Yeah. Or you, I yeah. Well, we, we, can, we can introduce ourselves <laughs> to the camera. Why don't we yeah. start by doing that? We'll also yeah. have names and who we are, and then yeah. if you want to just talk about your practice yeah. and what you're doing, yeah. then we can talk about. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, your, um, perfect. My sash? Your yes. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit Mike, are you good? I'm good. Yeah. 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 So like a little intro about the practice and then and then we can get into what we, where we are at yeah. and then about that. Yeah, and then we just, just start off by Which saying our names to the camera cool. and everybody knows who we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe if you can start off and then go left from you and then maybe have some last. Okay. Is it okay? So I'm second. No. No, I think that's it. Just boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, yeah. me second now. No, me second. Yeah. Hers <laughs> first, <laughs> first, first. I'm just me, then you're just you. Yeah. Out, and then that's unlocked. Yeah. I don't think you'd need to, but anyway. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> you never know who's watching, you know. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, everyone. My name is Per, in case you missed me. <laughs> um, uh, we are here because uh, of the digital, Per Goodson, the uh, Times Digital project that we've been doing for a couple of seasons uh, and just kind of really showing what that means and how these garments are created in this beautiful space. 
this is the studio, which is normally not here, but now it's here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much okay. it. <laughs> um, I'm Nick Knight. I'm the director of Show Studio, and we invited Per to come down and create a garment live um, on set, and so everybody can see the process, everybody can see what happens. It's a particularly interesting process, but I'll let everybody explain their various parts of it. Um, but we just wanted to do something where you could see exactly how a garment is made, and also to, in some way, finish with a sort of culmination, some performance, but uh, more of that later. Hi, I'm Louis Carnell. Um, I'm here as I was chosen to model for Per, and later on I'll also be doing a performance, um, some songs from my latest album, A Call to Arms. I'm Gary Armstrong, I'm a stylist. I work with Per, I've been working with him for the last five, six seasons now. Yeah. Um, and I'm here to get you dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm Cathy McGee, I'm Digital, um, and I've been doing all of the, the digital draping and pattern work for the design today. Uh, my name's Sam, um, I'm a jewellery designer, and uh, yeah, we've worked together for some time now. I can't for remember. A long time. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, I'm making yeah. some, uh, I'm making uh, a piece for today. Yes. A little bit frantic right now, even, but yeah. So, so yeah, everything, lots of different elements. So I guess just to start off, uh, it'd be a good idea um, if you explain your, your process, what, what the mm. sort of structure of day is and, this, and how you involve 3D mm. um, into your process. So I, generally, I like to collaborate. I like to find sort of new ways of doing things. And I, I love processes and I love craft. It's very important to our work. And Cathy and I met at the RCA. And we said earlier to someone, I think Lily, we talked about why did we meet? <laughs> why did we connect? Why did we click? <laughs> and I think it's because we both are like uh, really into to processes and doing things for a while and letting things kind of uh, take some time. So, so what, what, were you, what were you studying? <laughs> what? Menswear. Mm. Right, okay. So in a digital sense or in a...? No, I was really quite um, traditional before, but I ended up collaborating with a product designer in my final year there right. who introduced me to uh, Rhino, and it just sort of took off from there, I think. You might need to say what that is. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rhino 3D, it's a, uh, like a 3D modelling software, mainly right. in, used in jewellery, actually, uh, shoe Jordan. design, um, but I think predominantly architecture. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and as soon as I saw how that software worked, I mean, it blew my mind. I'd never really mm. seen anything like that before. Um, and I started working in that, and then other softwares have just followed and finding new ways of, of doing things, and mm. I sort of never looked back, really. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's the hottest topic in fashion. Mm. Well, probably in general, but certainly mm. specifically in fashion. What I think is so cool with digital is, when you think about sort of digital processes, as a designer, you think about sort of things that are more geared towards production, perhaps. And I feel like this is a, like a really creative tool that's useful for design and I kind of it, cut it feels like on. it's normally a kind of hands-off process as well, mm. like inside the computer. Mm. Whereas I think this this process is very much hands-on, so you mm. can definitely see that it crosses. It can cross into a purely digital space, mm. but it does actually need to be actually real, yeah. physically draped and seen before mm. you could even start that process. Yeah. So I think we have found this really ex expressive place where we are able to capture something that's quite intuitive and fast. And uh, also sometimes utilize the sort of computer glitches as well in the mm. final outcome. So that's really what, what that's the essence. That's why we are into it. Um, so, for example, the glitches, like when you scan something. We talked about earlier about the sort of traces of, of, of hand in, 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 in craft, and that's something I, like, I'm always kind of into. And then within the computer, like the traces of a glitch is kind of a translation of that. So we've been building on this idea of a glitch for, for a while. Mm. These jersey pieces are uh, sort of an example of where we where we let the computer kind of crash a bit and mm. then we build yeah. it. The scan doesn't fully capture everything. Yeah. It kind yeah. Of jumps a little. Yeah. And I think that's, that's probably the, the fascinating thing for a lot of artists who are working digitally, is the whole digital thing feels like it's perfect and mathematical, and, but of course it goes wrong. Yeah. yeah. And when it goes wrong, you see things you didn't expect to see. Yeah. And you see visions of stuff that um, you've never seen before. 
I think for a lot of people, that's been the sort of real way into this. Mm. You say, that looks amazing, what on earth's that? And it's something that prior to sort of being generous 20 years ago, none of us had ever seen. Yeah. Mm. You know, this sort of, this vision of, of, of ourselves, this vision of the world, mm. by, through computers. Mm. Um, and we came across it, um, I started working with 3D scanning in 1998, which now seems such a long time ago. Um, and it was exactly that. It was those glitches, and the, we, there was some, um, some company set up in Ealing, and they wanted to reanimate dead actors. Now, I'm not quite sure where 3D scanning <laughs> came into wow. that, but that was their proposal. Um, anyway, we saw something on Newsnight about them, and um, we thought, oh, well, 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 we'd love to do something. So we said, can we come and you know, do a fashion shoot in your, in your rig? And they sort of said, uh, yeah, sure. And we went down, and we, the first thing we realized, of course, is anything that you scan that's reflective, Mm. then mm. doesn't behave like you think, yeah. so it kind of sends out kind of huge spikes towards the mm. camera. Um, and so we did lots of reflective stuff. Um, and then we started putting things in front of things, so we put kind of gels in front of people's faces to see how the computer would read that. Anything really to kind of get into this sort of funny new world. Mm. Um, but you've, you've been, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been in this sort of relationship? and? and uh, it feels like forever. Was it, I think it was, the, it was this, Jack, was the aviator. It was, was the, the aviator, one, which is spring, summer, uh, sorry, autumn, winter 19, actually. Yeah. So. And then that became really popular. Uh, it's, these, these pieces are not so cheap uh, to add, maybe, but people really bought into it, and we thought, oh, maybe we're onto something. Has it, <laughs> has it, has it changed your whole of your practice? Are you, is there, very different, is there a very marked difference in your design language from before digital, if you want, before mm. this relationship, mm. and where you are now? I would say probably people expect, uh, expect this from the brand that we are we exploring these kind of new <coughs> ways of doing things. So that's a p part of the DNA, I would say. There is, of course, differences in the range. Like we do stuff with uh, repurposed denim, mm -hmm. for example, which is a different thing, mm -hmm. and then we do this like, quite sort of complex stuff, like the digital. Yeah. So, but for me, it's like what I'm into is like how those sit next to each other, and that's I think is I what feel makes like they've the become much more integrated as well mm. within the collection. Like mm. over the last, like since I, since we've been working mm. together, it was before that you would do a couple of pieces, whereas yeah. now it's like how many can we do, and yeah. how, what can we do differently, and like even just this process of doing the last two days, it's like what can we do with this to do something that we've not done before, but is still actually. Mm doable in two days. <laughs> yeah, I think also trying to find a way of working together yeah. with the digital, and I think earlier on it felt quite separate, like I'd go off into the computer and do something and yeah. come back to Per, and I think we're starting to find new software, new ways of doing things that actually yeah. make our working relationship more integrated than perhaps it was mm. in the beginning. Yeah, it's like more of a conversation rather than like, a, here's the start point and this is the finish exactly, line. Exactly, yeah. I think this idea of conversation is quite interesting in this context, I think, also. <coughs> uh, in fact, that collection with the aviator jackets, that was the Joe Orton collection, wasn't it? That's the, that was actually two seasons before. Maybe the Joe Orton was quite a good one. Yeah. The biker, I think. The biker the on the far yeah. left. It was sort of this, these different layers of things and this yeah. kind of almost conversation of different yeah. processes and kind of, I think it's become more, I think that's very you actually, mm. in terms of the brand. Um, to kind of uh, have different elements and then they sort of mm. feed off each other, they juxtapose, yeah. harmonize, mm. and then sometimes kind of almost do the opposite. I think, I think that's really interesting, like the juxtaposing, and I'm, I'm really interested in working with sort of masculine references, and uh, I'm also into kind of taking a, a reference piece, picking it apart and putting it together differently. Mm. And in digital, it's so easy to ref, work with the reference mm. and just change it completely. So that's really interesting. And I think that's how they, it can connect with the other stuff we do, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's what's sort of surprising for me when I, learned, when I found out um, that you were doing the work in this way. Mm. It's not really what your brand feels like. Mm -hmm. You know, if I think about your clothes, they're, they're, mm. they are so real in the sort of felt way, like a, mm. you know, like, a, like a sort of a touch by the hand of the artist very much. Mm. There's a very much a feeling that they're very authentic, that there's yeah. lots of poetry and depth in them. Mm. They don't feel sort of 
sci-fi or kind of space yeah, age yeah, computer, yeah, yeah. which I think is kind of what's interesting here because yeah. there's, there's, they're very soulful, your clothes. Yeah. And I think that's what's so beautiful about that you two are working together on this. Mm. Because I think there is that worry that people get, and you take a little bit further out of the context of fashion into AI. You know, people mm. are worried. Yeah. In many ways, quite rightly, yeah, yeah. about you know how much control we're allowing uh, to happen mm. without our say so, mm -hmm. um, and how we could you know where we're going to be. I mean, you know, mm. doesn't want to get sort I of. Guess, I guess as well, we're in the context of clothes. Like this digital process could be seen as like taking away from craftsmanship because mm. it's taking it into the computer and it's taking it away from the hands. But in actual fact, it's even more hand done because yeah. you're having to think about yeah. how each piece actually fits together and how those panels are then going to be worn on the body there's a human process to that that mm. needs to be put into it otherwise it's just it is like a spacesuit yeah. and it just becomes mm. a completely practical thing whereas mm. these pieces aren't necessarily practical yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're talking about digital crafts almost i think i think this yeah. is like, uh, kind of also when you think about the generation of consumers that are coming up they're very used to all this technology mm -hmm. and i think but they still appreciate craftsmanship and yeah. I think it just becomes an extension, another tool, a new tool. And I think in a way, I think maybe today and yesterday was very much about that. Actually, we literally had conversations about how I'm here sitting, imitating normally machine-made things by hand and then Kathy's yeah. kind of like re-emulating a sort of... Yeah, I, did, I didn't expect process. you to be banging away with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> used to be. <laughs> but it's great. I mean, it, it's, that's, the, that's the thing. It's so physical. Mm. You know, it, it isn't just a sort of removed sci-fi kind of thing. Mm. It is a, has a very, very physical part of it. Yeah. We should probably, for, our, for the audience who might know different amounts of what we're doing, um, just run through the process of what we're doing in very simplistic terms. Yeah. So I won't try and paraphrase that, but it, 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 if I understand it correctly, is that you start off with a design, yeah. um, which you start to make physically. Yeah, it's kind of a mix between uh, like something like a, a reference, like a photograph yeah. of these boys here. You might have it uh, on file somewhere and a drape and a drawing, or it can just be a drawing. But most of the time, it's a combination of a reference, a drape, and yeah. a drawing. And then that goes to Cathy. That's where, where do you come into this process? So I think the, the thing that we've done this last season and with this is like it's trying to capture this immediate kind of thrown together thing mm. Mm. that we can then scan. And I'll take the, I'll take the, the object file, the scan, and I'll use that. Um, as a base or a sort of mannequin, if you like, and begin yeah. to build and drape over the top of that. Still maybe using the still image as a reference. Mm. Um, and then does your, what you do then go back to Perth? Yeah, so I'll kind of refine it and figure out how it's going to work and how those shapes can kind of hold in place. Mm. And then when it's refined, we um, would usually print it out as a pattern. Right. Um, just because laser cutting is, is, can be quite costly with as many pieces as some of the, <laughs> yeah. some of the jackets have. Um, and yes, and then it gets made physically. Yeah. I actually think also the printing of the patterns, as much as it's not the most cutting edge way of doing it, it brings it back into yeah, the poetic, like yeah. handmade yeah. thing. Because then there is also room for error within that as well, mm. like a human glitch of putting exactly. the panels together slightly differently to the way the computer's told you to. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't actually, that, yeah. that adds to it rather yeah. than subtracts from it. But then you're also bringing your tactile yeah. feeling of the cloth. Yeah. If you're pinning or draping or yeah. whatever it is, yeah. Yeah. to try and you know, get the pattern to work, yeah. then it goes back to a very manual thing. Yeah. Um, so this is a sort of process that starts off in real world, if you want to call it, mm. goes into virtual and goes back into real world. Yeah. For our performance and our, our, um, our time here for the last two days, mm. we're showing that process. But then it goes to Louis, yes. who's going to do a <laughs> real world performance. That's correct. I am. <laughs> so, yeah, so I guess the outfit that they've made is what I'll be performing in today. Um, so, yeah, me and Perv worked together since your AW2020 collection. Some, yeah. Yeah, so, so we've uh, formed a good relationship over the last few yeah. years. Mm. Um, I've been creating the sound for, um, for video and yeah. runways. And, um, mm. yeah, today, yeah, they've created an outfit that I'm going to perform in. Um, the songs are from my album that I released. What, what are the songs about? So what are the songs about? 
Um, so one of the tracks is called The Fold, um, and it starts with this lyric, which is Birdcage of Mine. Hmm. And it was kind of inspired uh, where I live. I have a roof terrace, and it's surrounded by these um, kind of metal fencing. And I was like up there sitting there one day, and, and I kind of, you know, I'm up there literally just me, the sky, and the birds, you know. Hmm. And then with this metal fencing, so I kind of came up with the birdcage situation. And it's kind of this kind of thing where you think about a birdcage and you have a bird in a cage and you kind of look at it and this, you know, we have these kind of birds as pets and it's kind of like this mm. in a cage to like protect it, but also like we're taking away its freedom. And so the song's kind of about oh. mm. being protected, but also like being allowed to be free. Beautiful. So well, that's, nice. that's my, that's the first one I'm performing. And, and then, um, yeah, and then I have a track called Form which again plays on similar bits. Um, it's more just kind of lyrics and a story of maybe the last few years and things I've seen and mm. experiences I've had. Yeah, and like my work is super like introspective and yeah, and just kind of speaks on the world as I see it. Fine. Yeah. Well, so you're going to perform mm -hmm. and then we're going to take your performance back into the digital. So we're yes, going to film you, and this is fingers crossed, we're going to film you um, in a, in a, with a 3D app, um, which normally you do a 3D app just to, to get a still out of, but we're going to screen capture our filming you in a 3D app, so taking you, your performance back into the, into the virtual space, into the digital space. Um, and then we might, we might not, we'll, we'll see how we get on, but we might then take you outside into the real world yep. um, and film you out there. But unfortunately our audience won't be able to see that today, because obviously we can't. Um, stream from outside there, but let's see how we go. Um, <laughs> so that's a, that's is that that's yeah. a fair assumption of, of our plans. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so I guess um, stay tuned and see if that happens. <laughs> super, um, super nice to hear about your inspiration about those songs as well. It was really lovely. Yeah, we have very um, similar yeah. ways of working. Even though I'm in sound and he's in obviously yeah. in design and fashion. I think there is a connection. I think with everyone mm. that we collaborate with this kind of. Uh, it's just a connection. Yeah. Well, I think that's, that's, that's a lovely thing and, and very sort of current in the way people are working. Mm. That less and less people are confined by one particular skill set that people yeah. are putting on many different things because things are available now. You know, we mm. can get an, an app on our phone or you know, there, there's lots of access to technology um, yeah. in quite a sort of high, you know, in a good way. Mm. Um, and I think people, it's allowing people to embrace lots of different art forms. Mm. Um, so I think it's just general. And also I think there's a desire to do something authentic. Yeah, which yeah. we probably all share. And to try and yeah. find something different that yeah. hasn't yeah. already been done. Mm. And obviously everything's kind of been done, but it's finding new ways of doing the same things with di in different collaborations with different mm. people. Mm. So those connections are like, maybe there's something between the two things that, haven't, that hasn't happened already. Yeah. Mm. It's like kind of what you guys are doing. Yeah. yeah. It's For different sure. in the own personal story, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. And the, uh, the approach to it is different because of the individual. So, yeah. But, but I think there's kind of different layers of any kind of piece of work or any kind of object um, does also make it possible for more people to connect with it ultimately. And I think that's actually something the brand invites in as mm. an idea of a community. So it's not just one voice, it's actually a kind of sort of dialogue of different voices within yeah. the process. And so has a, when, how long have you two been working together? So Five years, I want to yeah. say. Yeah. So we were introduced by Lulu when I was a fashionist and then we did that one after, oh, one, my last season there together. And then I moved in <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> and then we've been working and cooking together. <laughs> <laughs> Many different disciplines. Yeah. 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 Actually, I do the cooking. Yeah, he does the cooking. Uh, <laughs> what, do, how, what do I do? Let's think about that. <laughs> but, okay. uh, Before we get too personal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, really great to have you here. And, um, Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Raj. Right. Thank you. <clears throat> Very hot. Right. So we have a little bit. Um, How long have we got till we till the next thing is happening? Yeah. We. Yeah. 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 Give me two seconds. Lily knows these things. We're gonna. I think the next. Just gonna is, see. Because uh, I need two more things. Yeah. Is that right, straight away? Can go and get Lily. I don't know that. That's I, I smoke as well. Oh, Joseph, yeah, do you want to go and get? Uh, do you know who Lily Ray is? Oh, oh, um, do you know who Lily Ray is? How far off do you think Lily? you are? Do you know, do you know who she is? Do you want to go and get her? Is that, is that it? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go and get her? 
Ooh. and then obviously this needs to be. Don't know, Hussam has a question. Yeah, no, how much do we need on the timings? Yeah, yeah just kind of. I think it's fine. We just need the timings. It should be fine. I need to know when I'm done. I'm, I haven't got that much left, but I just want to make sure I'm done with it. Oh, the sip is there, and my son. It's nice, different. <laughs> Unusual. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's nice, it's different, it's unusual. <laughs> 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 I like them there, they seem to taste. I don't know if it's just I my put, eyes. Um, are you staying with us for a bit longer or are you leaving? No, I'm staying. Uh, so you're going to be mine? Yeah. 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 I'll just be on here and in and out, I guess. I mean, if you want, I can just remove the mic. If you're going to be around, you know. I mean, I'm fine for now whilst we do this bit. Yeah, and then yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll come and find you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually going to be. 
Never saw anything yeah, ever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we would all die of starvation in this world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but at least we'd be together. Right. <laughs> yeah. This would have something to wear at the end. Yeah, exactly. One yeah. of us, anyway. We could all share it. <laughs> <laughs> Squeaky bum time. Squeaky bum is because you clench, right? Yeah. The expression squeaky bum time. What? Is squeaky bum time. I've never heard oh. of that. Oh. <laughs> <That's laughs> what does that I'm mean? I'm not okay, no. Uh, but you know squeaky bum time. What? <laughs> Boris Johnson's used that. It's a kind of thing. What does it mean? I, oh, it's well, like when it's stressful. No, but it wasn't, it wasn't just him. I've heard it. I've heard it. And, and what is, what's the context of it? It's like when it's crunch time and shit hitting the fan type thing. Okay. When you're Does it mean like it's time to clean up? I think it's more about sort of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's, this is the bit that I was just raising. I thought I have yeah. a couple of native English speakers who've never heard yeah, of it, no. but I'm sure I didn't make it up. I'm positive I didn't make it up. Or is it like yeah. if you're like kind of clenching? I felt stressed. it was yeah, the, maybe the clenching bit. I don't know that. I've, I don't know. I don't know if like squeaks happen there. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I made this up now, but I'm definitely sure I didn't make this up. 
I'm going to give you one. Please. <laughs> Must be on Urban Dictionary, at least. I mean, it's, I think it's a bit middle-aged thing to say, but yeah. Well, I guess I'm going there. Okay. It comes up straight away. Um, Sir Alex Ferguson, the football manager, is the one who popularised it. Okay. That would be why I don't know. That's why. Yeah. I, that's <laughs> obviously why I know it. <laughs> so butch, yeah. Okay, chiefly an exciting part of a sporting event particularly right. the final moments of the Glows game all season. I think you really came to the wrong people finding out whether we knew about that. <laughs> right, fair enough. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been excited about a school. <laughs> Say again. Why does Boris? Huh? Why do footballers always make Oh, yeah, footballers. Well, there's clearly some kind of overcompensating for something they're missing out on. Part of their life that's not being. That's it. I'm done. Oh, I thought the day would never come. What does that mean? BGM? It's like one of the sla new yeah. slangs. BGM meaning, let's see. Oh, background music. How's that doing? Can we just check the music? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. Next. Yeah, I thought that was good. Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you doubled. Uh, yeah, let's see. Keep it double. Actually. It's I nice. think it's quite nice. Yeah, I agree. A bit more yeah, I totally, I'm with you on that. Um, and then that. I mean, actually, Gary, can I maybe check something with you? <laughs> I think um, See, I, I actually have sort of at some point said maybe leave something. I quite like that. The, 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 these la look, these tabs are quite nice, aren't they? Right. Yeah. Maybe can you so. make it? Can you make it in a way, or maybe even pin it so when we have Louis in the thing, we can just take a decision then, or well, oh yeah, just take a decision just now. Stitch it. In no, terms of quick of stitch, the, yeah. the length of the those things. Uh, the cutting, yeah, but definitely. then also leave it hanging. Whether we leave any of it. But they could just tack it. Like you write it with the flat. It's nice. Yeah, yeah if you let it almost mm. do what it wants to and do. It becomes a like like I quite uh, like the hanging. I do as well. So can let's we, leave it hanging. We're leaving it pin, hanging. Give us pin. Pin? Yeah, don't worry. Just keep do you want on. the ends finished? Or is it Maybe. Oh, yeah, what about finishing the ends? No. I mean, I think it'll be quite ugly to finish the ends. Yeah, they'll, get, they'll, get, they'll get quite heavy. Let's just leave them. Yeah, just, you can just freshly cut them at an angle yeah. and then they should stay in position. So, um, I'll just, I think you can just do one stitch oh, in the middle no. yeah, after this. What because then they can just... Um, this to the other side of it. So there is a... Doing that. But as in... Tie it or... Does it just hang until you fasten the jacket and then you put it, or is it going to be already in? Oh, it's going to be part of it. Oh, yeah. do we need to be able it? to open it? Yeah. yeah. So then it should just be tied here, right? Tied? Yeah, maybe, maybe you can just attach a, another strap to that side and we can put it through there and on the D-ring and tie it. I mean, there is another strap on this side. Yeah, that's so, what I mean. So, and then you just tie it. Yeah, and then yeah. you can even leave that so it becomes a kind of exactly. purposeful feature. Okay, nice. Do you and see then, one that yeah, yeah, just one tack, mm -hmm. and then but maybe do this side first, so because this should be yeah, done yeah, nicely, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. and then we just tie it at that side. Maybe again a double one, so it kind of repeats yeah. that. Nice. That Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. you I think whatever you've done, I'm not going to say do it again. Uh, uh, no, it's perfect. <laughs> How you will no. <laughs> one millimetre too much. <laughs> one of the singular tunes. Give me the scissors. I cut everything up. Tie again. <laughs> Actually, uh, Marius had this intern once where there was a suspicion that she went back to the studio and cut up her rival's yeah, work. Yeah, good. 
They had like a saboteur. Wow. She didn't want anyone to outshine her. Uh, so I think this is still 7.30 know, right? for the thing. Now, we, now we're just Actually, uh, I was quite fascinated finalizing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then we're going to scan like one of those and like a performance. Like and then... She's evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was quite. <laughs> and I think so that should be. <laughs> it's like when we were all into Victoria Beckham. It was kind of that, right? Like, everyone the hates her. Only the fashion people are like, she's amazing. <laughs> I'll tell the I'll tell the guys to be ready to help us do it. It'll be quick as well. Um, no. no. Let me just check if everyone yeah. everything is hands on. I think yeah. maybe even give it another. You know what? Exactly. You Everything, is, attach, trimmed, yeah. Yeah. Everything is hand sewn with the strap, right? Yeah. So don't t t pack down the machine. I uh, like not yeah. pack down. Yeah, I think, yeah, pack it up. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. no more machines. Oh, yeah. Okay. One machine. Have I attached everything on it? <laughs> oh no, he's doing it. Good. Huh? Oh, yeah. Just in that part. Oh, okay. Good, I'm done. Oh my god, I'm actually finished. Good. <laughs> oh, the slavery of the peg is over for yet one more day. Until tomorrow or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just always takes longer somehow. Yeah, well I feel like also the most simple of ideas are always yeah. the ones that take the longest to actually execute well. Yeah. Yeah, and I am a bit of a perfectionist. Are oh, you? Yeah. I've never noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you looked at this, you wouldn't really think that at the same time. Did so, you when uh, I got here, you're like, it's <laughs> 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 no, it's because there was also like, I couldn't hand anything over to anybody. Yeah, yeah, Actually, yeah. they were really good, but I was even thinking, like, I can't have no time to train them. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, because like, it's all kind of happening in real time. Yes. It makes you feel like you might as well. It's probably easier to go through the list and get things done one by one. Yes, you let's see. I have it. And get lots of things done. It also because of yeah. designing can you, can you make it up from that one? It's oh, yeah. waiting for your feedback as well. So yeah, I was yeah. trying to figure Just out the wider one facing up. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like get it to a certain point. But I feel like the actual metal one. I'll look at the only thing we've actually changed is the strap and we added the earring, which you kind yes. of put together in my like, But I did also the ear cuff was something that I had to, when Louis, because Louis wasn't here yesterday and I couldn't mm. check it and then he yeah, told yeah. me how this ear thing. And yeah. yeah. It's like all the bit, yeah, tiny, but uh, but good shape, actually. Yeah. Yes. No, I was scared because I checked on his Instagram on his ears. <laughs> because sometimes people have the ear like attached to uh, the ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That can happen and then actually or come. Like very like pronounced. So yes. It's kind of floppy. So yeah, so so that that can sometimes throw you a kind of yeah. spanner. Actually, I did this thing for one of Henry Holland's shows. I made like it was actually a really good solution. I made like uh, ten of them in the end. We didn't know if the girls had their ears pierced, so I made like fake ear holes at the end. That's like so, so you could just put them yeah, on yeah, and then put the hoops on there. Like, so you never need to have a piercing. I know. Like, no. Told me before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I had to find a shape that fitted everyone and yeah, that yeah, just slotted yeah. on easily. It was still yeah, like a strong generic enough ear shape. To, yeah, and not like a big thing about it mm -hmm. either. So. Uh, I brought that one as well. That actually didn't fit in with the earpiece that you have. Oh, yeah, because that's got to sit inside. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy this is done. My hands are pulsating. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, is there a side? There is. There is a side. I think yeah. I got it right. And that's, uh, oh, yeah, you matched it. Great. Um, yeah, perfect. And then was that the length that we decided on? Is this drape? Finish. The length of what? One sec. It's too high up, sorry. Yeah, Can we undo it? Yeah. Can we undo it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's the easiest one. Oh, the easiest one. Yeah. yeah. Actually, let me just check. Yeah, it should be like. Uh, sorry, I know I pinned that. I mean, it's not, ba no, it's almost a bit too balanced. It just needs to move down a tiny bit. Yeah. Sorry for that. That was my attention. I hate my attention. I'm just so excited that it's <laughs> over. 
I think it should almost be allowed to have some movement. Let's get this right. Can you hold it for a second now? <laughs> and uh, uh, Joseph, can you just hold this for a second? Oh, yeah, pin, pin it here. Right. No, we'll keep hold on to it. Then we can just. I think that's kind of right. Maybe is it weird to have it there? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. And then where does it? Wait, let me just see. Where does it? Strap it in. Uh, hmm? I think that's kind of right. I know. They look great. That's uh, Joseph's is, is his own jacket. No, it's okay. You can let it hang because it will be there. We leave it out. It's great. Um, he also had like such a good print yesterday. Yeah, but then it's actually he said, uh, just this one. It's really nice. And then yesterday he had virginity rocks. <laughs> I'm terrible at pinning. It's like the one thing that I never really figured out, uh, apart from the sewing machine. <laughs> Let's just leave because this. I should have made because now the inside is ugly. Oh yes, I should okay. have made like Don't worry, don't worry. They're, sure? they're going to pull it through and knot it here. So okay. It yeah. Because I didn't think if they could also flap in that direction, okay. it's not knotted. Um, so that's pinned, isn't it? So let's go and pin that. Let's see what happens here. It's cool, right? I keep looking at him because he's some lobster and he has two pairs now. Like, you can see what the other ones are. good, right? Yeah. yeah. And they look like, uh, yeah, kind of nice. Yeah, it's nice because somehow it forms. Pair, Gary, do you want to see final positioning? That looks good. We're happy with mm. that? I think we might, might not need these now. I don't know. Or let's leave, can we leave it? Let's leave them on until he's dressed and then we can always just snip, snip them. Snip it, yeah. Speed. So this one, let's attach Just it still. Just one yeah. yeah. And then... I mean... Yeah. yeah. You, could, you can tighten it slightly here. That's cool. Do you mean... So no, you it's have maybe a bit too tight. Maybe tight. Yeah. tight. Yes. So Somewhere we, between the two is probably yeah. nice, right? Like there. Yeah. Okay, but then this is like hand knotted anyway, so Brilliant. they don't have to write. So we just tack that and we're done. Yes. Fantastic. Nice. Why? How did you manage to get that? Oh. No, to nowhere. Sorry. It's just slipped around. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Is this gonna happen? Please, 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 come here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go smoke now. Oh, I feel so relieved now. <laughs> We're ready, no? We're ready to dress, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if they start making cool. play the way now for what's happening, I think uh, it should be it should be like this until someone's listening to it. Yeah. I think it's like this. Ah, that's not sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and should I just leave the ear cuff there? Yeah, so Gary can fix it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll leave, just leave this loose. It might drop a bit, but you can just... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you, Gary. I love working with you. Oh, it's like like you honest, tight, simple, yeah. Yeah. Cool. but also not like Amazing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's some thought to it. No, I have worked on some of the stylists. I, don't, I actually, it's maybe quite good that I don't remember who. <laughs> uh, right now. But I remember, like, I was like, okay, you don't care, actually. Yeah, they yeah. were like... I think it's... Yeah. A lot of people kind of... 
think that uh, oh, Joe uh, Luke is on the email. Yes, I can talk. Yes, <laughs> and like try and micro. I, there's nothing worse than oh, yeah. micro management. Do you think micro management to do it? When it's a, you know, just like a oh, on balance. Can I have a visual schedule? Yeah, next Tuesday is perfect mean, because like, actually, like, after like, term start, my Tuesday is my D3 yeah. day now. Yeah. But that's per next week's good. Yeah. Yeah. Lunch provided. Sounds good. No, no, no. How can you not have like an emotion for it? Yeah, and but that can also be. Is yes, like that's that, still like, better yeah. than yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, no, I remember that. I was really like, oh, I felt like really like my life is worse. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. And also when like, you're doing something that's actually practical and you're spending yeah. so much time and energy into it and have somebody be like, yeah. And so, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm yeah. getting. But I don't, I don't think it's happened too often. I mean, you get a lot of those people here yeah, that are like really stressed out and like, but really you do respect those more because yeah. at least they have a. Well, I think some people are really stressed. Now, whether something's right or wrong is a similar sort of thing to being laid back about it. It's like it's actually committing to an idea and really wanting to execute it. Whereas somebody who just doesn't seem to care either way, it's just <laughs> why we come there. Do you know who was really fidgety, actually? Bless him, Brian. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. But, but you see, you know, we worked for coming. like a few years. I remember <laughs> in the beginning, I found him so challenging. But then somehow, at some point, I think we kind of developed a kind of trust relationship. Yeah. Well, I think it's very much about trust, but also oh. it's sort of like it. Once you know what it is. Yeah, you yeah. can find it. Yeah, yeah. 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 He struggled to explain what it was he wanted. Maybe it was, I just actually remember I called Marius the first time he came to my studio. I was like, where is this guy? Yeah. I was like, oh. That's good. Like, okay, so this is the idea. So we this is the idea. We can reference it. Yeah. Request all the time. And then I go, this isn't it. This isn't what I want to do. Actually, I was in Paris with right. like, And all the, <laughs> all the Japanese team from Bihara was just like, oh my god, why are they still working? Yeah. And he was just sitting there. I was like, yeah. no. Like, we do like a top man show until like five, five in the morning the night before. <laughs> <laughs> Just come down. But yeah, at, at the same time, and that's he that's did that's really that's nice things. Actually. And he also put that passion that he put into yeah. it, because it put into everything. Yeah. So it was kind of, <sighs> it doesn't matter what, what band it was or what it was, it's like he wanted it to be the best version of it. Yes. No, I mean, actually, yeah, like, and, and weirdly, it's like kind of who doesn't love the Hollywood stories and becoming back, I was like a tourist. Uh, Later, I was really like, oh, that guy's really mm. into it. It's yeah, all fine. Mm. There's, a, there's a really good picture of she and I from backstage. Oh, at thank you so much. Amazing. Looking at the board, and I can remember everything. I'm looking at the board in the morning to move all of the looks around. Like, literally, whilst the models are getting dressed, and I'm going like this. I'm <laughs> 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 oh, oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, done. You're done? Yeah. I am anyway. Good. You need to tidy up. I need to tidy up. <laughs> Let's just chuck it in a box and go. You're going to tidy up what happened and then you just going to sit it on, on the table when you got here. Mm. Actually, I did. <laughs> but it does look like that, so I might as well just do that on the way back. <laughs> Scrape it in. Oh, just shove it, yeah. That's what we say, just shove it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I should tidy up. I'm gonna go smoke and then. Uh, yeah, why not to do that? I'll come out with you, share that one with you. What? What? I'm gonna have a couple of drags of his. That's Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've now hit the wall, man. A little bit. It's like done. A little bit. The but adrenaline's leaving your body. Normally, how it would be would be like him literally shoving it in his box and then like follow, following me when I'm like doing press. Do I want to go home now? I want to mm. go home. Can you take this box? <laughs> you don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I want to keep story. Things that I've done for you. Yeah. <laughs> Things I've done. <laughs> broken. Oh, I, don't know. Lost. I don't know if the we need to I've do done. this, guys. <laughs> the things are broken, <laughs> lost. <laughs> I called you broken plate. Yeah, you did. You Let's, broke um, me. <laughs> Let's just remember that we're on a live stream before you yeah. get into it. <laughs> Fine. This is just a play fight. Yeah. <laughs> we're just getting warmed up for later. <laughs> we'll save the real fight for later. Okay, shall we, before Lyric close, have a quick one? 
it's quite unusual to find somebody who's Swedish to argue with, but I mean, you guys like a very like cerebral do you kind want of to argument. Fight? <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> you must. Do you have a? Uh, you have one of those all the time. time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all the time. Actually, bizarrely, my mom used to say, "You're cold like a German person," and like. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because my boyfriend's Italian, so it's literally everything is, everything's very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like one minute he's crying and the next he's like screaming. It's like, what's going on? Have you seen and every that? time he talks to his mum, I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, nothing. <laughs> it's like, it's so impassioned. <laughs> but have you seen that the mother is my favourite emoji, the hand? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so good. <laughs> this is like, wait, later. Yeah, mm. they do that in Lebanon, actually. Yeah. Like, that's serious. Lebanese people quite like Italians, actually. Yeah, They're yeah, quite yeah. Similar it's, yeah, similar sort of things. temperament. Noticed, yeah. Fiery. Mm. Fiery and dramatic. Yes. <laughs> but I feel like it's quite sort of like... Um, but still sophisticated somehow. Yeah. It's like sort of disaster theorists. Like, everything's the worst. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. <laughs> Hey, ready? Yeah. He, wants to, uh, he wants to do the trousers. Yeah. Okay. Let me grab. I need to grab the clothes. <sighs> Kathy, yeah, we're dressing up. Yeah. Let me just, just grab some. And then we do the, yeah, yeah, we just do the rest uh, out there, yeah? That's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you met Gary uh, before. Uh, oh, oh, no, I yeah, yeah, just out. Yeah. had a long chat with him. Yeah, who's that? Who's that? Gary, he dresses me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Oh. Are you caught in Did you go through the thing? There. Yeah. I'm going to put two clips in because we're going to clip your thing to these as well, so I don't want it to... Is it possible to do this in the post? We're just doing the these bits. All oh, right, cool. yeah. thank you. Maybe I can't have four words with the form like the outfit of the form. Exactly, yeah. I'm happy to do it. We're trying to get up. Let's 
Sorry. It looks super nice. The air cuff is so good, isn't it? Hmm? The air cuff is really yeah, good. Yeah, it's perfect for me. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And there it is. And there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> just like that, just a couple of days. Looks like, the, yeah. I don't know how to speak about how where it sits with those two boys there on the wall. Yeah, it's so that. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, it's not that. At yeah, all. yeah. Okay. Sorry, me again. Sorry. It's okay. I'm just gonna get away. Um, something else. Mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna book the Korea for 9 p.m. For 9 p.m. From here. So, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's night, so maybe it would take like half an hour, maybe a bit more. If someone's maybe on the other side from like, yeah, 20 past nine. Um, and there's a possibility, depending on what happens, that um, we might be out doing night shots. Yeah. So, like, you would be out there, so basically internally, the your studio team would manage it, get it in. It's just for someone on the other side to be there. Right, so someone needs to be there, it's sort of 20 past nine. I mean, yeah, I'm guessing so. Like, it's better for someone to be there earlier, but I'm sure it would take like at least half an hour, but let's say 20 past nine. So how would so that work? Uh, and what is it, nine? 9 p.m. for 9 p.m. But, but actually, I haven't included loading time in that. I feel like that'll take a That's minute. That's probably loading it, yeah. So it's probably about 10 actually. Yeah. 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 I guess if, if you're there from like 9.45, yeah. 15 minutes to load in, half an hour to get yeah. there, that would be the earliest time it yeah, would get exactly. there. Yeah, exactly. And then a UK... Just need a couple of people. Mm. Yeah, so boys, 
need to be a late one. You've been forgotten over here. Um, I think the <laughs> band's going to be at nine. Yeah. Just talking about practical things. So I think someone, someone, maybe you, Joseph, or whoever, if something, someone is better to go there before nine, to be in the studio when the band comes. Or all of, yeah, someone to be to go earlier and to, to help pack. And we can even get some help from the team as well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then... You need team people to load it in at the other end, right? Yeah. Some people to load it in, some people up there to load it in. So here you have a studio team. I mean, these guys will be on cameras, but whoever's downstairs will be on hand. So maybe you can guys ha can help sort of collect everything and... We can flatten everything down as well. And then, and then go, go up. Like if we all just get up there. Yeah. Really. Would, it be, would it make sense for you? What about your bike? Do you want to... I'm going to come back anyway. You're going to come back? Okay. Yeah, because otherwise I have to cycle back from Tottenham. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not ideal. Turned up in my jeans. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, yeah. Together, we'll be looking at me on the street and like, why is he wearing that? <laughs> 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 bike's rude. It's crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, after... Who's performing? After this performance, we can have a kick after... I don't know, prep stuff, get, get ready to go. Get so like, compact it, you know. Yeah, so, so it's cool if we uh, tidy up here so it won't look like this for after. How do you want it to, like, visually? Until the performance, I think Nick will want it to be as authentic as yeah. possible. So let's keep the continuity, let's like, keep it how it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, if he wants to pack certain things away, but yet it still looks like it's been used, I mm -hmm. think. To do that, but I'm really going to set some time straight after the performance. But we'll, we'll just wait for your cue and then we'll pack. Okay, yeah. waiting for my cue. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. I'm going to sneak. Did you see that Ian Fleming did do? Yeah, uh, Sam told me. Yeah, I heard somebody say Ian Fleming is a bit old. Yeah. My taxi driver yeah, told me as I pulled up. For Ian Fleming. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the, yeah. This building. This Interesting. <laughs> yeah, right. James Bond, I think. Uh, do you know that? So, meant to be 3D scanned now. 3D scanned. And then I think that's followed by performance. Yeah, so you have a, be, you have a 20 minute gap in between. What so time are we thinking to. What? Yeah, water bottle. Yeah, like keep all the tools, which is like food stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you guys have all been Cool. I'll make sure all of it's gone. And what time are we planning to do the performance? So, um... Because the schedule's shifted, right? Let's do this in the right order. How long... Do you feel that there is going to be three new scans? Yes. He's ready now. Ready now? Okay, so I'll get um, Tom A. That's going to take, say, 20 minutes. I'm going to have a 45 minute break, so just over an hour from now. Great. Yeah. I'm doing the rounds. You've got your um, your pop diamonds on me. Well, it's going to take half an hour, so it's not going to be yet, yeah, but it's been recorded. Yeah. Sit down, have your food, have a break, get ready, come back up here and we'll set up. This okay. is going to stay the same, but for your performance, go into your performance, and then straight after the performance, I'm going to let these guys pack up because of nine. Again, let's wait till Nick comes back and see what his vision is mm -hmm. for post your performance or during and then post. But um, yeah. And if you ordered extra food, I'm sure you have some hungry boys, maybe. Yeah, so. there's a whole, there's a massive pack of brownies waiting for you. Okay, guys. amazing. Sounds okay. good. Yeah. <laughs> you work very hard with them, do so you deserve brownie or two. Brownie or two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there.
I was going to ignore it. Best thing to do with it. Just look away. I'm very happy. Yeah, I'm very happy. I think. I have all the, you know, the social media stuff. Yeah. Gorgeous. It's looking amazing. Yeah. Hello. Oh, you can't see it. I'll take a picture and you can have a look at it. It's silver. I love the ear cuff. So it's like this. It's like the cuff, and then it has the ring. Oh wow! So it looks like that from the front. That's why I think that's why I thought it was two. Yeah, because it's like in two places. Yeah. So that ring is connected to the back of the cuff, and then comes through and up to the top of the ear. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Does it feel secure as well? It feels like it's. Yeah. Seems pretty like sturdy. Yeah, I was just saying. Before, it's just like. Yeah. Oh, the plastic water bottles. Yeah, I said that as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How's your head? Um, I mean, they hurt a bit now. They'll be worse tomorrow morning. Yeah. It's always the next day that they sort of like swell up and start the pain pulsating. Kicks in, yeah. Yeah. Like now, I'm just happy it's done. Basically. Your bit is done. Yes. yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. Well, I'm so glad it's finished. <laughs> uh, yes, me too. <laughs> Don't tidy up too much, though. No, I know, but it's just like, oof. I felt like... <laughs> yeah. You don't mind if I just take all of my stuff, do you? Say again. You lose, like, solder to, to like, yes. attach it. To yeah, you know, you saw me with that. Yeah, uh, yeah it's uh, like solder. So you put, like, a piece of solder on it, yeah. Like, welding, sometimes people mix that up. It's, like, electric, so... Um, with silver, sol with sol solder is like for metals that aren't iron based. Slightly different colors. I remember you used to solder in school. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> First interaction with a bunch of that. Yeah, it's quite satisfying. And it's always a little bit magical that it works somehow, and you're like, oh, wow, that actually worked. So, yeah. They didn't do metal work with us at school at all, actually. No. No, no I went to school in Germany. No, never. We did a bit of woodwork. It was a bit lame, to be honest. Just talk yourself uh, No, I studied it. By university. Just talking outside with Nick and uh, about sort of poles for uh, 3D stuff. What could be nice, like what could show off the uh, jacket. I'm very happy to see it like a man. Mm. There may be some kind of. Because I guess it's really scary, it's like things in between and stuff. Well, I guess like the way that the render is, is it's, it's kind of like a, a quite. A, quite robotic almost, yeah. but maybe that works quite well for it, for your arms to be slightly like separated from your body just so that what you can is, get that yeah. read. What is something like this? Like something like this? In the closet? <laughs> I feel like the thing about that is that these articulated sleeves lend themselves more to having arms bent. If you straighten them, right, so they start getting it. short and it's, it's more of a Maybe like something like this is quite nice. Yeah, and then that looks nice. Maybe turn towards these guys. For the first scan, none of that will register. For the second scan, we're going to film you. That registers as real, and you register 3D. Strange. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, it is really cool. 
<laughs> That's so bizarre. Yeah. So it kind of sets you as a sort of 3D thing in here, but then we'll screen record that. So you'll be. This is how we'll be the whole of my career. Disappear. Yeah. <laughs> is he there? <laughs> so um, let's start by doing just the still 3D scan so we get everything. Sure. Yeah. So Tom, do you want to take over? Um, it's right between. Yeah. I, th I think, off, I think this, the this kind of scan. render position is good, so that your arms are slightly away from your body, kind of about there. They're almost a little bit bent forward, like forward than anything else. Like that, right? Because I'll let you do it. Because the less people, the better. Yeah. So I'm just going to be up there. Okay. okay. Because I feel like that, then you get the space around between the body and the sleeves, right? Yeah, is that going to be annoying to hold? You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, exactly. I think this is nice. Into your own world. And then if you just straighten your feet. Yeah. Out. Is, this, is it weird to have like a slight bend? Like if I move it, is that? <laughs> that, that's a bit, that, that looks a little odd. Yeah. Normal. Yeah. Okay, but maybe so just bring your toes in slightly so that, the, that your feet are straight. There we go, yeah. 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 Good to go. <laughs> this is like when I get dressed in the morning and I'm checking myself in the mirror, he walks in front of me <laughs> and then pretends he didn't, he didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely went into the zone there. You were gone. Oh, cool. <laughs> Massive flask. Um, kind of interesting. I mean, it's going to put around on the garment. We can obviously we'll scan his face separately anyway. So. It kind of connects with uh, separation, right? From here, half half. Mm. There's like a separation in the face. 
There we have the water. That's so weird because it looks yeah. like his his leg is inside out as yeah. you went around there. Yeah. yeah. Like it's concave. It's just look there. Yeah. yeah. Let's just drop those front sections. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just save this down and then reprieve it. How big are those files? Hmm? How big are those files? Um, that's 90 meg. Uh, Obviously get bigger if you... It looks so good. Have the shoes almost gone like pointy? Mm. Like they sort of looked like pointy from the medieval style. Yeah. I love everything. I think. The, what do you think about the face? Do you want to rescan it or not? I mean, personally, I would do like ten scans. Yeah. Um, just to make sure we get the yeah. elements and um, but you know, keep showing you. You let me know if there's bits you like. Maybe we can do. It. I do like this. Like it feels like uh, there is, uh, you know, speed. Mm -hmm. Speed, yeah. which I like with this. So if we can find a way to make it a bit more detailed, with have this, that idea of speed, so like straight. Yeah. So I guess if I try to cover it off, maybe I'll do half bodies now, um, in as high detail as I can, and then I'll do another full length mm -hmm. like that. That sounds um, great. And hopefully we, we have lots of elements, mm. and then I can go in and do. Higher res, maybe at this bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it'd be nice to get like detailed yeah. shots mm -hmm. of like the folds in that drape. Yeah. And I guess like kind of the jewelry needs to be as 3D as mm. possible as well. Yeah. Yeah. So like those things would be nice to get as details. But I, I do quite like, you know, like what we were talking about before with the whole glitch thing, mm -hmm. that there are areas of like that just being there, like as yeah. a scar down the sleeve yeah, is quite nice. That's beautiful, that one. Um, so it's like, I think just getting more. Yeah. <laughs> we can do that. Um, I might just shoot some reference images quickly. Just yeah, so we've got some of course. And then I'll do a tablet scan, and then bottom half scan, and then another full bag. Amazing. Amazing. I quite feel like you need any placement things for any Yeah. He said he's got one, and then Italian. Guy. He's really, he's really good at yeah, I have, uh, I have, uh, I have a f full house now, but I probably, I probably have openings towards. What did he say? Uh, he needs to get more place before mid October, even if initially he's just for a month. Okay. So what, what's the? I could probably. Probably do one, but then it needs to be from mid October because I need to just get these guys settled and I have another yeah. one coming. So from mid October, I could take one more and I would like to see some portfolios. Yeah. Okay. Say thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> want me to get you one, that's what you're saying, isn't it? <laughs> God, I wish someone would get, would get me a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking it in my head. <laughs> Look at him. You just connected that way now. <laughs> Are you really that snooky? I'm just trying to understand why somebody bothered to put so much text around something that's clearly just really weird, low end, oh, soft wow. core. That's amazing. <laughs> it's quite, yeah. I found it in the corridor of our studios. Exactly. Yeah, that's very but much it's... like trying to intellectualise. Yeah, kind of like softcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The history of titillation. Although I probably didn't, would have been so happy if I'd found this in the library as a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> actually, this is, is <laughs> this is how I got into education, actually, and art, because I was like, that's where you find yeah, all the movies. That's where they're naked. Yeah, I figured out all the culture programs was the most likely place to see any any man naked. <laughs> actually, I don't know. Maybe it's not as bad, <laughs> but uh, but this is very questionable. Setting, that one particularly. setting, symbolism, attitude, expression, the visual image of the displayed body is an imaginative exercise rather than more information. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I see that there. <laughs> You have there. Everyone should have this. Yeah. <laughs> I just think everyone should yeah. have it. <laughs> yeah. They should. I think working with the track pad is really bad. Yeah, it is. From, you get like a mouse arm for that. Yeah. Uh, tennis arm, what do you call it? Yeah. Mouse arm. Mouse arm, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your arm just gets really arm. small. <laughs> 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 Little grey fur at the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shall I get you a brownie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I did mention it a few minutes ago. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. What is the red one? I don't know, they look the most interesting. Though. Yeah. Berry, I guess, and white chocolate. The bathroom. Pardon? Oh. <laughs> well. Good, isn't it? I think it was inspired by it. There's a Swedish graffiti artist who showed me called Nib. Yeah. I think that's what the. the one, did he show the ones on the mirrors? I think The so, black spray yeah. paint on mirror. I think that looks really good. Yeah. Like it's like, oh, how cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, it sounds so lame, but it looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Something for the memory book. So this is... Oh, wow. Look at that. Goodness gracious. Uh, the red one looks interesting as well. Is that the red, like red velvet around there? I've seen all of them, but they look... It's, I mean, that is... That's crazy. Yeah. There's, a, there's a few boots up there, but I think they're going to do a quick scan. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
I'm sitting here. Right Can you get some priority? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to sit back in my ergonomic chair. Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. To really fully appreciate it. Yeah. Oh my god. Is that your chair? Which chair is that one? No, this one they just they provided. I just said I need a comfy chair, but I actually really feel like I want to get one like this because. Is it good? Yeah, it didn't. It didn't look like it was going to be comfortable. I mean, it doesn't look so, comfortable. Is that like armrests. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. There's no armrests. Well, I guess like maybe it's designed to make you sit back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been really good. Especially as like sitting down isn't that comfortable at the moment. Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, that already looks right to me. Arms back. Arms back. A little bit. A little bit in. In a little bit more. <laughs> nah. Maybe this one in slightly. Nah. Yep. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Do I have to try this one? Oh, wow, you're not going to let Cathy have them all, have all of it. <laughs> I'm sure you have a little bit. Do more outside. Whatever that is. Boom. Oh. Have you had some of this one? It's like a sugar rush, that one, isn't it? <laughs> well, it looks like it's about to melt. Is it half melting? Can you, can you, <laughs> Thank is that you. okay? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> mm. Wow, I feel like... Uh, oh. I hate my mouth now. <laughs> I feel like... Boom. Mm. <laughs> And the shorthand here is great. I feel like, <laughs> boom, and you go, <laughs> 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 Yeah, well, we've done away with proper conversation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no need for words yeah. with us. <laughs> I'm glad you went for the zero sugar option. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Too little, too late springs to mind. Mm. That's the thing, like when you see, like, you know, this kind of documentary channel behind the scenes and stuff, and you know, all the scenes they all are like piles of sweets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's all smoke. Sugar to get them through it. Yeah. Uh, it's funny, isn't it? Like, like, in your right mind, you're like, oh, I shouldn't have sugar if I'm tired because it's not going to help. Yeah. Like when you're actually really tired, it's like, oh, this, like, it's this all is actually going to help this. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Good, you did finish to do the trousers yeah. as well, that's amazing. <laughs> and, there, and there it all was. <laughs> uh, I'm going to find my little, oh no, he's outside. <sighs> Are there any more um, cans and stuff that it says? It's just oh, us it's on the out table, out yeah. Do you want to come outside, Gary? Yeah. Yeah.
So I'm not disturbing you anymore then. That's right. So this is stupid. Okay. Yeah. 
similar sort of thing. Mm. I feel like I've missed one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like looking. Yeah. I love this one. Gives yeah. 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 <laughs> Just gives up the go every now and again. Technology. I know. Yeah, yeah. There's more focusing. Yeah, that's cool. This seems oh, kind wow. of yeah. The drapes are coming through here quite well, I think. Mm -hmm. It's funny because the, the spray paint part is kind of you can't tell whether they're part of the the render or whether they're actually yeah. Just garment. thinking that. Yeah. yeah. Like that? It, look, it makes it look like it's like a three D print mm. thing rather yeah. than mm. digital artifact. I probably trend his legs again so we get a complete the way around. Mm. <clears throat> Oh, That's so cool. This is nice. Like here we have like this kind of almost portrait like and then you have this kind of water drops. Mm -hmm. Like this is the yeah. kind of good place I think. So the, the jewellery is always going to be slightly difficult to get, isn't it? Because I think you're going to have to accept some level. Yeah. yeah. I mean I do have matting spray downstairs um, but I feel like it's this is quite nice, trim, like, yeah. I think it makes them something else, like yeah. in the, yeah. which is quite yeah. nice. Yeah, I, I feel like also you're going to, it's part of the process, mm -hmm. like anything yeah. reflective d does this up and it's like, mm. that's what happens. Yeah. So. It's kind of what I thought, yeah, mm. I've got, I can't remember what you call it, but you spray, I think it's fault finder, you spray it onto like a teapot or something to see if there's hairline cracks. Oh. So you can use that and it basically just puts a white, um, coating on reflective things. Right. Okay. Um, but so we could, like, if we wanted to, we could do that, but I don't feel like it's... I think it's yeah. quite cool that they are water. Mm. It's, I like the idea of capturing shine. Mm. That's yeah. like quite, po quite poetic and nice. It's more uh, Picasso yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That. yeah. Eyes closed. These look so nice. Mm. Yeah. And then. What was this one? I think this was a failed attempt. I kind of love that though. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> then we went in for some details. I think this is focusing on the earring, but we've got slightly more detail. But I yeah, think it's quite nice so that it. Because you can see what it's doing, yeah. mm. you, just, it, you can't necessarily make out exactly what it is. It's yeah. quite a nice mm. way of showing it. Uh, it's going to be the same thing again. Yeah, you've got slightly more of the whole mm -hmm. thing there. <clears throat> Going into this piece here. So oh, look. That looks super nice. That's so beautiful. It's quite watercolor esque. Yeah, I love it. Love it. And the straps across the, the weight of the straps against the fle mm -hmm. pleat yeah. is really beautiful. Oh. Against the fleet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sugar guy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so this was a bit more mm. trying to get some more of this dry thing. It really mm. does look like a painting it, with the with the spray paint and then yeah. this kind and of. Like thing. <gasps> oh, well. yeah. Oh, I love this one. I think like I mean like you know getting to a place, but I think like oh, in an ideal world, this would be like quite sort of crisp, yeah. and then towards here we have this water happening. Yeah. But. So we've, we've done bits in the past where we've sort of yeah. taken these elements. And yeah. Things, so. Sort of extrapolate them mm. more from where we want them. Um, but I think this, like, as an overall kind of visual, this is quite, quite amazing. Mm. This one. Yeah. Okay. Um, it illustrates what the piece is. Yeah. 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 Even though half of it's not there. Yeah. That's, That's quite cool. Shoulders. Yeah. Oh, God. The drape there looks really good. Yeah, that looks nice. Doesn't it? Mm. 
It's funny oh. how it sort of does those, those things where it like cuts the body in half somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And like there's a joint, but there wasn't a joint, but there is a joint because yeah. it kind of, hmm. I guess it's like what it's called, the kind of glitch thing. Yeah. Like it gets to a point and it's like, I've got to make up hmm. the, the information in this bit. This is it, exactly. It kind of it's is second it guessing it thinks, itself. Yeah, mm. it thinks it should do. Which so, is a white ball. Yeah. <laughs> So in seeing these, is there anything that you would particularly want to explore or push or anything you think we don't have? Uh, I think if we can like mix, like... <sighs> I really like this head mm -hmm. and I really like the shoulder we just looked at. Mm -hmm. And then the, the body we looked at before then. Oh. The one that was kind of yeah. coming off itself. Uh, this one. Yeah. Hmm. And then this is really beautiful. And then maybe with that head, or what do you guys think? I kind of I feel like if you could get upper body with head. Mm -hmm. I think then, then we, head. Yeah, yeah. we've kind of got it. So it's I just whether you can. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, you can have a look at Michael's. Together, so that's what Michael's working on now. Yeah. He's working on a full body, crisp. So we could go and have a look at that. And kind of on. piecing parts together. Because yeah. I do feel like we have like all of the parts of yeah. crisp might, at some point. I think that might have been on the screen of the stream yeah. we were just watching. Like that Michael one, yeah. that one. That, yeah, yeah, that one looked yeah. great. Yeah. Should yeah. we have a look? Let's go and have a quick look. Yeah. How you get on? Good. Yeah, we've just, um, I just went through all of them with the team. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to go and have a look at Michael's cleaned up version. Cool. He's got all the different elements. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Michael, is it possible to show? The one that was on yeah. Can you go in on the on the center with the straps and the folds? Let's see how that. It was quite. There was something that, like, when the strap like was made pronounced, you can see the weight of the strap kind of. That was on its own. Individual yeah. One, wasn't it? Yeah. was beautiful that's great mm. and I like the jewelry is like water it's like capturing re a reflection that's quite nice oh, I love and then I think if we could get that like um, clarity on detail there and then oh, the rest cool. yeah and then it can be quite abstract sort yeah. of floating off I think it could be quite nice yeah, yeah. 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 And a million. Um, when are we filming? So 
there's been a slight change of the schedule. We were going to have um, a 45 minute break now, mm. but Louis has kind of said he's actually in the moment, he wants to make okay. use of this sort of mm. energy that he's got, and he'd actually like to start setting up for the performance mm -hmm. now. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, and then go straight into the performance. Ideally, straight after that, he can then have sort of a 45 minute break. He's got some food downstairs that he needs to eat. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so for now, if we could start setting Fab, up the yeah. yeah. What does he, does, who knows what he needs to set up? Uh, he, yeah. yeah, he's had a quick chat with Michael. I know there may be a different chat to be had maybe with lighting, the setup, we're keeping as it is. Yeah, yeah. Tom, 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 Tom. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm here now, let's. Um, I'll sorry, sorry for that. Is, is there anything else that we should get before we go into the performance? Uh, I think we. I think we. Talked about the the weight of the strap against the jacket, yeah. and then if that front was quite clean and you have this kind of, I, I keep saying water, yeah. but yeah. yeah. So that's I think if you can find those two together, I liked one of the early ones with the shoes, like one of the really first ones, yeah. Yeah. The because there was speed, or like it was kind of these straight lines. Yeah. So I feel like that kind of is is quite nice. Okay. Those those three elements. All of the elements in the, in the things that we already have. Mm. So we because like that detail shot mm. that you like, we, no. we have that. Yeah, so yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I think there is everything, yeah, and then if the, or those three can be it's combined. Kind of like merging the things yeah. that we have. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a thing you need, for example? Um, if, we, if everyone's seen those things, we have them. And I'll just bring them in and I'll work them up. Okay. Cool. cool. Okay, so I'm going to get... Mm -hmm. So Lulu didn't... Uh, Lulu... <laughs> Louis doesn't want any food or water out, so I'm going to move that. He just wants to get rid of water bottles and...
Oh, oh, oh. 
this to the 3D can turn around. Uh, and then to the coast and then the I think we have it. I, mean, I think we do more to just get more and more good food. Yeah. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 